Yes. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Microphone check, check. Microphone check, check. I'm checking to see if you can hear me. If you can hear me, raise your fingers in the air. Woohoo! Guys, it is a beautiful day in LA. I'm going to let you guys see what I'm looking at this morning. Yes, indeed. Look at here, look at here. Look at those palm trees. This is what LA is known for. Mm -hmm. My garden, my beautiful garden. Not letting me down. Mm -hmm. Not letting me down. Yes, yes. All right, you guys. My nose is a little breezy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But let me do what I need to do here. I'm going to start the countdown. I just want to test. Microphone check, check. Ooh -ooh. Microphone check, check. Can you hear me? Let's see here. Microphone check, check. Microphone check, check. <laughs> okay, you can hear. Can you see the countdown? Hey, now, can you hear me? Can you hear me? What's going on? Shout out to you guys. Let's see. Who? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from Los Angeles, California. And good evening to wherever you go. Good morning. Good evening. Good day. Whoop, whoop. Hello. Let's see what we got here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. It is LA. It is Healthy G Mom in the house. And I just want to make sure that I say hello to whoever is here. Whomever is here giving me love. I love you guys. Mega, mega love. Hello, Rambo Green Hands. Ooh, ooh. Good morning. Good morning. Arlene, made by Trin Lena. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Healthy G Mom is in the house. I know it's been a while because Healthy G Mom has been working on herself. I have been enjoying my summers here in LA. It's still 95 degrees. Right now it's 8 a.m. You guys can see my back mount clock. It's like 8 a.m., but it's oh, it's 80 something. So thank God it's not that hot, but it will be hot. Like last night when I did a video mm -hmm, about eight, nine o'clock. It was still 90, 90 degrees, right? But I went to Las Vegas and to my brother's house in California. Uh, it was 115. So I'll take 90 degrees over 115 degrees any day. <laughs> so yes, indeed. How are you, Arlena? How are you, uh, Rambo Greenhouse? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to be a part of my today i am going to organize you see this kitchen behind me yes it is time to reorganize so what i've did have i taken everything when i reorganize organize i take everything out of my kitchens out of my own cabinets and off the um the counter look at that so once was clean but what i'm doing now i'm going to organize everything right that is the goal here Hello, hello. I'm well in Christ, my dear. Thank you. Uh, God, yes, God got you. God got me and God got you, Arlene. Yes, indeed. So let me prop you up here. 
Yes, indeed. So Healthy G Mom is working with um, uh, her laptop. I'm working with my laptop today. Yes, I finally got it. I have, this has been, I got a new laptop that was granted to me, that was given to me. It was a gift. And uh, they chose not to be, they choose to be anonymous, meaning they don't want me to tell you who they got it from. But I am thankful and grateful from all my subscribers. I love you guys. And I know you guys love me back by giving me things. You don't even have to give me things. Just telling me that you love me. Telling me, showing up for me. Even when I'm out working on my body. Mm -hmm, working on my mind. Mm -hmm, you guys still always like, hey, are you okay? Yes, amen, amen. If you don't work on you, who's going to work on you? Right? Who's going to work on you if you don't work on you? That's right. Hello, late night crafting with Stacy. Good morning. Shout out. That's to my, one of my other California friends, California family. She is the crafter. Love you. Hello, King Martin. Ooh, ooh. Happy Saturday. Good morning, handsome King. Appreciate you. Shout out to you guys from Los Angeles, California. It is 8 a.m. Yes, indeed. Here in Los Angeles. Healthy G Mom has been, haven't done a live in a long time. I've been working on my shorts. I'm a part of the short program, right? Um, I've also been working on me. So I've been in classes, mm -hmm, taking classes for real estate. Yes, I'm not trying to be a real estate agent. I'm trying to be a real estate investor. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. I'm trying to lead generational wealth to my kids, my grandkids, right? Real estate is one of the leading, leading things that you can become a millionaire on if you put the work in and the knowledge in. Yes, yes, yes. So when I say I'm working on me, I'm feeding myself healthy stuff. Healthy gym, I remember. Feeding myself in my healthy stuff in my mind and healthy stuff in my body. And you guys saw me working out by the pool, right? You saw me in the gym. I've been all over. I've been traveling with family. Family has helped me out to get to my destinations, to Las Vegas and all over California, right? Because I can't get on a plane right now because of my oxygen tank, right? But if I can get in the car, mm -hmm. we can get in the car and groove, right? Right? So, you know, Healthy G Mom is a little goofy, but, you know, to me, if I'm not laughing at myself and laughing at life and enjoying life, then I'll be miserable and sad. But that's not what life is about. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to work on you. Now, you can sit and pray all day. That is great. That works for some people. For me, I pray and I put actions together too, right? You have to put it into motion, right? You got to believe, first of all. When you say things, you have to believe it, and then you work on it. Now, you might not have the income like I don't sometimes, but what you can do is just put motion and go and connect online, whether you're at or out and about, but things happen when you put motion into place, right? You do things, right, to happen. Hello, yes, Late Light Crafty, you go, girl. Thank you so much. I need encouragement, but... I didn't come here to lecture you guys today. I came here to show you my kitchen. What I want to do is organize. So I have a small kitchen. You guys see that? That is a small kitchen. And behind me, you see buckets. Behind me, you'll see little stuff that I pulled out of my closet, my cabinets, because, you know, it's, you know, people say springtime. Springtime, you organize. Yes. Yeah, so you're throwing away stuff that you don't need and you're throwing and you're keeping stuff that you do need. And putting things because you know lots of times when we take stuff out like my teenager mm -hmm, they take stuff out and then they don't put it back in the right way so it's all about organizing so i'm like here i kind of try to do some here you know i organized up all already up here so we'll you see my little chip so i don't have like a little bucket right here you can see that here hello miss hi miss password good morning 
good morning. You see that? So, okay, you can see I got a rack here for my vest, my fruits and vegetables. But if you can notice, hello, Arlene. Yes, I mean, faith without works. That's right. Faith without works is nothing. You have to put into it. And I believe God gave me a second chance. Y'all know my story. I was in the hospital for eight months. Mm -hmm. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk, right? But I believed. I believed in God. I knew God gave me the power and the strength. I made a bunch of shorts, right? Telling you guys, you know, although I was alone, because it was COVID time too, right? So I was in the hospital eight months by myself, but with doctors and nurses, people I didn't even know. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Blind Guy and his wife. I love you guys. Mega, mega love. I'm not here lecturing. I'm just here sharing my story and my knowledge. My knowledge is powerful because I've been working on me and just growing me, going into learning about real estate. I've always been a real estate a homeowner, but then I had to sell my house, downsize, and, and sell my Mercedes, downsize for me to be bigger and better, right? I had to come to a small place where I'm at now and, and be thankful, although it's not something that I like or I love, or I knew, knew about because I was in my parents' house. I had a house. And from my husband's house. And then from me, right? But hello, I am Bridget Dead. Beautiful, beautiful. That's my daughter, you guys. I am Bridget Nay. Good morning, Bridget. Hello, you guys. That's my that's my internet daughter. My YouTube daughter. Love you guys. Love you, love you. Um, I would love for you guys to connect with each other. Please, please. But as I was saying, you guys got to know that everything... Everything that you want to do, you ask for. And you have to believe it. Because guess what? God is with us. God is in you. God gives you the strength. I was in the hospital. Sorry about that. I was in the hospital for eight months, right? And I was all alone. But I learned even when you are alone, if you believe in God, you're not alone. You're not alone. And I willed myself back to something where I'm trying to go now, right? Back to, I healed myself, right? I'm not 100% healed, but I healed my mind. I've learned to change my mind. Say, you know, I, I'm trying to take can't out of my vocabulary, C-A-N-T. C-A-N, -T. cannot. I'm taking that out of my vocabulary. Can, I will, I will try, right? That is what I'm working on. So what I'm trying to do is learn the real estate world of investing. I would, I am working on leaving generational wealth to my son. Although I'm in an apartment in the projects, it's okay. My mind is bigger than that. My mind tells me I will be bigger than this. I will. I will. If I don't, I'm going to die trying. Yes, indeed. Because I'm not going to sit around and wait. Like, and that's it. She said, all faith without works is nothing. So I'm putting in the effort going to school. I'm putting in the effort working on me. You see me in the pool. You see me at the gym. And I don't have a gym membership. I just work, walk around or, or you know, I go to places that I can go. People that I know have a gym. I'm working that. I'm just working what I have with the connections that I have from my family. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Right? And so I suggest you guys continue if you haven't i know you have keep working on you because you are amazing and you are great and i truly believe that everything is possible with a positive mindset right but you have to work on it and you have to leave with respect so when you leave with respect that means that you're respecting yourself you're not putting you, you're working on respecting yourself by doing the great things for yourself of giving yourself positive mind positive foods. Every now and we cheat every now and then, but for the most part, 90% of the time, I'm doing everything that's healthy in my body. Yes, indeed. When I say cheat a little bit, sometimes I have a, I love me some peanut butter, peanut butter cookies. <laughs> I know, but, and a bag of chips sometimes, but for the most part, I don't do it. Out of sight, out of mind. So I try not to buy that type of stuff. So it won't be tempted. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hello, she stole my thunder. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, good morning. I want to tell you guys, this is what I've learned also. 
from learning and going, I've been not only doing real estate school, I have been also, hello, Sadia Vlogs. Good morning, beautiful. Welcome. This is, I am a lifestyler, right? I talk about, and I share with you guys, things about my life, things about what's going on. Huh. And yes, I'm monetized, okay? And I still make just a little bit of money. But what I've learned from like a lot of the big YouTubers, and I start comparing YouTubers. Good morning, Callie King. Good morning, good morning. The ones that make money, they're teaching something. They're trying to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. So I suggest if that is, if you're on YouTube and you're trying to create income, I mean, income, not five, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. There is a threshold that you still have to make, right? Every month you have to make a hundred dollars. Good morning, Mercy. Good morning, good morning. You have to make a threshold. When I say make a threshold, you have to generate a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars, <throat> in order for you to, if you in the partnership, I am a YouTube part, I'm in a YouTube partnership program, all right? And every month you still gotta make this. And then also you gotta work on watch hours. So this is what you see me doing today, my live. I'm going to be on here all day today because although I'm monetized, you still have to work on watch hours. I've been working on watch hours, but I haven't been doing lives because I've been really trying to enjoy myself doing shorts because the shorts are the easy, right? Although when I do my shorts, I don't make one. I make two. I make a bunch, right? I make a bunch as I go. I have a lot of shorts, right? But I also have some informational videos, but I start looking like I haven't done some informational videos in a long time. So I'm going to put some more up today. But today is about showing you guys. Huh. Although Healthy G Mom is in an apartment. I'm in a small apartment. It's like 980 square feet, right? Okay, it might be small, not small to you, but it's small to me. Because remember, I came from a house. I had to downsize from a house for me and my son, my teenager, to live in the apartment. And I'm thankful and grateful for the for having a roof over my head, but this is not something where I will stay forever, right? So I'm working on getting out of here, but I'm gonna appreciate showing God that I am appreciative of God rescuing me from the hospital, from the disease that, this ease that I have in my body. And you can see the oxygen tank is over there, right? It's not too far. But I've been doing my deliveries and everything I do without the oxygen. Showing you guys, I'm a work in progress. You are a work in progress. We're all a work in progress. Yes. So what I'm showing you guys is me. This is me. Right? No makeup. I just have on castor oil. Right? And my hair is growing because I was bald head. And I'm thankful for it. I'm not used to it. But hey, thank you, God. Right? Be thankful for the things that you have, but you don't have to stay there, right? You can always work to be better. Yes, King, King Morgan, blind guy, lady Porsche. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mercy. I am Bridget Annette. If you guys are into YouTube because you are trying to generate extra income, more income, I suggest you dig deep. She stole my thunder. Dig deep and think about what you can teach. Like she stole my thunder. She's teaching Spanish. She's teaching French. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Ça va? Bien et toi? So I said, hello, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. And you? Or either she's speaking, she's teaching Spanish, right? Huh. This is what's going to generate income more when we teach right i'm not the one that make the rules i've been just my observational studies have showed me and show me and i've only been on youtube remember i celebrated a year that i've been on youtube 
in a year that I've been out of the hospital, I was confined to my house. So I got out, of, I was in the hospital eight months, right? And then I got out of the hospital and I was confined to the house, to this house, couldn't go anywhere. So, but it's been a year that my son has signed me up for YouTube to share my story at the end of the first, August 1st, right? Right, the end of July, August 1st. So I've only been here on a year, but I am still learning. And I want to constantly learn and teach and give back. Sharing, doing vlogs is amazing. I love vlogs, but you're gonna make more money by solving a problem. Think about that. What can you solve? What can you teach? What can you show the world? Because YouTube is the world, right? People that's coming on, YouTube is the second largest search engine, right? The first largest search engine, when you search, when you search and you're looking for something, is, is Google. Google is the first largest search engine. And who owns Google? I mean, who owns YouTube? Google. So yes, they're looking for something. They're looking to learn something. How to create a banana pudding, how to, right? I suggest, if you can, start thinking about what can you teach someone? Because you're smart. You can do anything you put your, yes, mommy, hello. Mama Sherry, Sherry, I love, this is my Filipino family. I love you guys. What can you teach? What can you show? Solve solving something showing someone people want to learn yes she thought my thank you thank you she throw my thunder I, I appreciate you super she thought i'm gonna say continue calm mom <laughs> yeah continue like that my friend be blessed and blessings i sent you on an email yes i got you she throw my she stole my thunder is one of my members right i love you i got you i have some information for you reach out and touch me and when I'm going, I'm all of you guys, I have information from you. What I've learned about YouTube, being here on YouTube for over a year is how you will make income is you got to solve a problem. What kind of problems can you solve? What can you teach? Teaching would generate more income because people want to learn. Yes, they want to see you. Like today, my thing is about cleaning the kitchen. So if you notice, I'm in a small kitchen and I'm getting ready to, I'm working on my watch hours. I'm going to be doing this for a while today. I'm working again. I told you, I've been, I'm monetized and I've been on YouTube for a whole year. But you still got to work on your watch hours. I've passed the threshold. But I'm smart enough to know, okay, you haven't done a live in a long time. I, as a matter of fact, I didn't start doing lives until after. Fun thought. Fun thought is I didn't start doing lives until after I got monetized. So I had a lot of my family. We were all watching. They were watching me, right? Although my family don't want to be on YouTube. I'm the only one that's on YouTube, right? And my son started me on YouTube. But I had them watching me, right? And, right? So, but also... You got to put the time in. You got to be on here and you got to show. So today I'm not going to teach you because I know you guys know how to clean up. I know you know how to organize. Organizing and cleaning up is not one of my strong suits. Mm -mm. It's not something that I truly like. But there's some people that love that. Teach me how to clean up and be happy. Ah! Teach me how to organize and be happy. Teach, share, give people, give the world. YouTube is the world, right? YouTube is the world and the world is at your hand. It's your platform. What are you gonna do with this platform? Remember, YouTube is changing as it goes. Constantly, when I'm doing any kind of lies because I'm monetized, they always asking me, is this video good enough for YouTube? Basically, do you have anything that's going to be disrespectful, you know, or harm someone? You got to start thinking like YouTube if you want to be in business with them. If you don't want to be in business, okay, 
but I want to be in business with YouTube because guess what? There are a whole bunch of other platforms that I won't name because I don't want to disrespect any other platforms. But YouTube is one of the only platforms that gives you a chance to make money. Make money. You can become this. People that got millions of dollars. This money, people are making money on YouTube. I'm not one of them. I make decent money. But I don't make enough. Am I greedy? No. No, I'm not greedy. This is my life. I can't go to a regular job because remember, I have a disability. And even if this is not your life and you have a full-time job, what you're trying to do, make extra income. Because guess what? Multiple streams of income lead you to a better life. Multiple streams. YouTube can be for you a multiple stream. It can be a stream of income. It's up to you to put into. So people that's doing chats, I you know I don't have a problem with you chatting and let's talk about this and gossip. What are you learning from that chat? Are you learning something from that? Most people are looking for something to learn. When people come on YouTube and Google, they are trying to accomplish something. They're trying to learn something. Yeah, they watch reality shows and stuff like that. But if you want to, again, to create some income and be a positive force here on YouTube, think about what can you teach? Think about what problem am I solving? Can I solve this? Can I show you what I'm solving? That's, <laughs> that's what's going to get you the extra income. That's what's going to get you your viewers. I got most of them. I can't even lie. I got a lot of my viewers. For Well, I got monetized first. And then I started doing lives. And then I started doing shorts. Shorts brought me where I'm at now. I have all my shorts. My shorts brought me. So shorts does play. Shorts do play a role. Hang on. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Shorts do play a key role. But you don't want to just focus just on shorts. Because shorts that have their own little category. I am in a shorts program. I can tell you that. Shorts is not going to give you watch hours. They're just not. Sorry about that. But shorts will bring you viewers and subscribers. I built my house where I'm at now from my short program. Thank you. I love you guys. That's coming from here from my shorts. But also, you got to have people that truly, truly want to hear what you have to say. Right? That's what's going to keep you going. So you got to have shorts. You got to have long videos you gotta have and if you do short videos make it count because remember anything under eight minutes in the youtube world if you you're anything under eight minutes you cannot put a commercial on there and the commercials is adsense remember i did a video about that if you don't know about that go check out that video about adsense that you cannot when you make these short videos anything less than eight minutes you can't put a commercial on there. So if you're a new YouTuber and you've been doing a lot of seven minute and five minute videos, think about YouTube, AdSense. AdSense mean ads, commercials, promotions. Can you promote that? Can you promote your channel with that? Can you do that, right? So this food for thought, because I want us all to win. I want to win. I'm on here for a business. I am in the YouTube partnership program. YPP. YouTube partnership program. There's three things, right? So I have to think like YouTube 
and YouTube wants you to give the world something positive, something respectful, something they can learn. And it's all kind of things you can do. You can do hair. You can do, I'm going to be teaching real estate pretty soon. But I don't know enough about it. I only know one side about it. I'm learning this. My Mary J, Mary, Mary Precious Jones is one of my members. If you got to know who she is, Mary Precious Jones, she's teaching real estate. And she's doing real estate in Alabama, right? But I'm here in California. So there's enough room on this tube for everyone. Even if you doing hair and somebody else is doing hair, so what? You're in different categories. You're in different states. I'm not competing with anyone. I don't want you guys to compete with anyone. When you go to their channel, learn from them. Learn. Because remember, there's no new thing under the sun, right? What you can do is when you know something, won't you just take what that is? Is that great? Like they when they made the car, right? The car is great, right? Now add on to it. All these other different type of cars, the electric cars, there's all kinds of things. So think like that. What can you teach me? What can you teach us here on YouTube? Hello, Ricky's life. Yes, it's really amazing what you can teach, right? Mercy, you are amazing. We are all amazing because we're children of God. Now, what you going to do with that knowledge? What are you going to do? I am Bridgetette. Okay, you guys. I want to show you guys. So I've been teaching, preaching. I'm not really trying to preach. Don't think of me as preaching. Because I'm a mother, I guess I'm. And I used to be a director at a TV station. That's a fact. I work for a TV station, KTLA Channel 5 as an air technical director. So I told the equipment what to do. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm used to, I want people to win. So I try to give them, I give you the information and it's up to you to receive the information. I'm just a messenger of God, right? I am a messenger from God. I'm a messenger from God. And God gave me a second chance. And if I don't tell you something positive, something what you can do with your world, then shame on me. So me as a child of God, I'm sharing with you guys what I'm going to be doing. Let me show you what I'm going to be decorating. You see this? Here we go. In my small kitchen, you see these little things right here? This is what I'm going to be putting. Hello, hello. So you see, this is going to be, now I got these on. Remember, I'm on a budget right now when i start making more money i'll start spending more money right but if you can see this i got this from the dollar tree look at this so this is going to be i'm going to put these on my counters i got many 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 hello 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 i hope i'm not missing anyone hello 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 i'm sorry so i'm going to put these all on my counters all right, so all of this stuff, I got so much stuff here in, in my container. I got several containers, right? Several containers that I have. These are tubs also that I got from the 99 cent store. I got many of these little buckets, right? Right? So all of these little buckets, I'm going to put my little stuff put my um because i've taken all of the stuff out of my cabinets hello hello hi liz lesson good morning beautiful i've been lecturing about when you're on youtube what are you going to teach lynn is an amazing dyi she's she does a whole bunch of creating stuff and showing us right so i'm not on here to teach you guys because i know you guys Today, I'm not on here to teach you. I'm working on watch hours, right? I'm going to be here for a while. So I appreciate you guys coming. So even, even though, although Mercy and I mm -hmm, are monetized, we still have to work on watch hours. We still have to generate over $100 mm -hmm, for our threshold. Our YouTube will not pay us, right? Right. So I today am showing you guys because I have been putting off this kitchen because I am not a cleaner. 
I am not an organizer. But as a young woman, I learned. My mother forced me in the kitchen. Remember, I got Southern parents. So my mother was like, uh-uh, honey, you're going to learn how to cook. You're going to learn how to clean. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. But here I am now, cleaning and organizing. So it's okay. Even if it's something that you don't like to do, you got to do it. Or if I don't, I got to go pay somebody. I don't have no money to pay nobody. I mean, if I did, no. Because they might not do it the way I want it to be done. And I am in a small kitchen. So I got to make this work for me, right? So I got these all these buckets I got from the... I got this from the Dollar Tree. I mean, this came from the 99 cent store. Now this bucket is $5.99, right? So I got that. I got a, I got a bunch of these buckets. And so what I'm doing is I've taken everything out of my cabinets a lot of stuff out of my cabinets and off of my counters. And these are the things I'm gonna put on my counters. So remember my juicer and my microwave, I've been granted some gifts. I'm gonna reorganize my kitchen so it can look new in here again. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, All right? So I'm gonna put on the music in a little while, great. Got you. Remember, Lynn, keep teaching YouTube, this is how you're gonna make, start generating income. More income is by thinking about what can you solve? If you think like that, what can you solve? I'm solving my problems today in this small kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna make everything. I got stuff on the walls, you guys can see here. In my small kitchen, let me take you over here. If you can see this, look at this. This wasn't here. This is stuff because I don't have enough room in my drawers, right? Right? So I got these little hooks, right? And my little stuff here. I got, look at that. See? This is a plastic one, and this is a, a wire one, right? I got stuff like that all over so I can have room. Remember, this is a small kitchen. I've seen a lot of you guys. Like, Lynn, you have a big house. I don't have a house like that. I don't have an island, right? You see plastic bags right here because this is some of my food. I've got my black eyed peas. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be making some black eyed peas because that's tomorrow. <laughs> Collard greens and black eyed peas, I'll be making that tomorrow. But, so I had to take this stuff, I bought this stuff, right? And so in my cabinet, I tried to organize. So I got my little jar. So I did this little side, but see now, my son has been in here, so I have to go in here and and reorganize, right? I got counters up here. So this is a counter. Like if you can see this, like I have a lot of, look at this, look at this, right? Stuff is easy, easy for me. I can put it into that and all these little, you know, stuff like this. Yeah, so I'm trying to make my world in a small kitchen a little bit more easier for me to get. Now I have step stools. I have this. This is a step stool. So when I want to go up high, right, I can get in. And I have several step stools, right? Because I have my grandson, when he comes over here, he loves oatmeal. And he wants to go in the cabinet or get some little treats. I have step stools, right? So, and he behind me, you'll see, for like stuff like this, this is a magnet. Right? With my little scissors when I want to chop some crabs. <laughs> right? Or chop whatever. Right? So I have that there. I got it. This is a new one. New little. This is a little tray that I have. It's a magnet. Right? Right? I'm putting stuff like, you know, so for me, okay, I got to put that right better. But if you can see that, look. So to make my house a little more roomy, I have stuff that I can put on my refrigerator. Right? Hi, Tori Brain. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Black Tropical. I love you, Mega Love. Hello, Nia Story. Motivated Murray. I appreciate you. I'm sorry I missed that. I'm here walking and talking and showing you guys to organize in this small kitchen. A lot of you guys have big kitchens. There's no jealousy here because I used to have a big famous kitchen. Big, not big famous, big fabulous kitchen that I, LTG mom, had a house. It was a small, it was a big house. But it was old fashioned. I gutted that whole house and I made it fabulous. So I know how to do this, that stuff. 
and I made it so fabulous. But now I remember I had to sell that house, downsize, right? I downsize and I'm in apartments, right? With a little bit of income, but I'm making it work. And so what I'm trying to do in this small kitchen is make it work for myself by putting stuff on the refrigerator that have magnets, putting stuff on my, like this is a, like a little, uh, it's a sticky, right? A little hook, right? So I can have my little measuring things. Okay, let's go to this side of the kitchen, right? Also look over here, see, right? So I made my little world a little easier. So I'm doing that little stickies, like this is more stickies, right? That's all that is, a hook. Then all that is gotta be wiped off. And look up there, up there, right? Right? I bought this little rack, cause I had no cabinet space, not that much cabinet space. So all this gotta come down. I've already started pulling stuff down, right? Pulling it off of here and rewashing everything. We how much mega mega love. I was sharing with them Black Tropical and Nia and Tori's brains. I was sharing with everyone that YouTube, like you guys, I love you, Black Tropical. You guys are my family, my garden family. And I just love how you and your husband are teaching us the garden world. You're not just talking about it. You're walking the walk, right? We can talk, talk, talk. And like I'm doing, I'm talking a lot, but I'm walking the walk. I'm showing you guys that Healthy G Mom is trying to be bigger and better. It's getting already already here. So it gets up to 90 some degrees, right? But right now it's early in the morning. So now it's, I started at eight o'clock, it's 8.45. I can tell that it's getting hot in here, right? So yesterday, like at 8 p.m., it was still like over 90 degrees. But I'm okay with that because when I went to Las Vegas, and I went to my brother, he lives in Rancho Cucamonga. It was 115 degrees. So I'll take 90 degrees over 115 degrees any day. <laughs> it was just, that was, it was miserable. I mean, and they, or you, you spend a lot of money on air conditioning, right? Right, anyway, I digress. But what I was sharing, Tori, Black Tropical, um, Motivated Murray, anybody that's listening, that's on this, platform youtube is a business and if you are in business with them and you care to make income you have to teach someone you have to solve the problems black tropical you guys are solving problems about bananas and fruit trees and all that right you're sharing this my observational study that i've been studying from the youtube world i've been on youtube now a year I celebrated by myself. No, I did. I celebrated with my family. Mm -hmm. Remember, because I was I, I was freshly out of the house, right? I, I took my first vacation this year since I've been out of the hospital. I went to the hospital in 2020. 2020, September 2020. September 2020 is when I went into the hospital with, you know, all the stuff that I had, right? And then I got out of the hospital. I was in there for eight months. And then I was confined to the house. So this year was the first time, and then my son had started a channel because I couldn't walk and talk. He wanted me to share my story. So, so I went and celebrated my first year on YouTube and first year being out of the hospital and thanking God and myself. I should have did it with you guys, but I wanted to do it with my family, right? I would do some other stuff. I mean, I'm working on 10,000 subscribers now, right? I'll probably do something like that later. But it's not always about... I don't want to brag. I'm not on here to brag. I'm on here to show you guys I'm loving myself with the second chance that I have. And I'm showing you guys I am in the in the process of teaching myself. I'm relearning myself how to do real estate, how to teach you guys. When I learn, finish learning real estate, I'm going to be showing you guys. You will make money. Okay, I'm sorry. If you're trying to generate income, I say, Teaching someone is what's going to give you the income. That's for fact. I've seen big YouTubers, and I don't want to name no names because I don't want to disrespect anyone. There's people that just do vlogs and they show me their everyday life, but I'm not really, I'm just enjoying their life because I love vlogs. But the ones that are teaching me, like how to do stuff on YouTube, how to 
how to make money on YouTube, how to create a car, whatever. When you are teaching, people spend more money. People make more money on things that they can learn. And that's just a fact. So I'm on here learning how to teach myself and teach you guys. I'm not a teacher, but apparently I guess I am because I want to share with you guys. I believe in each one, teach one. And what I'm sharing from you guys all my year on YouTube, what I've learned is that the ones that are going to make money and can make money is people that's solving a problem. You got to solve a problem. You have to teach someone something. They give you tips and they bring more of their people. Hey, you know, healthy G mom, she was teaching this and that more viewers, more $5, $10, whatever. So think like that. And again, I'm not on here telling you what to do. I'm sharing you guys what I'm going to be doing. And I would love for you guys to come along. And we don't all have to do the same thing. And if we do do the same thing, it's okay. Cause I'm Cali. I'm in California. You in Alabama, you in Florida. Everybody, you know, they, when they made one hair product, how many hair products do you see in the store? How many cars do you see in the, on the road? Right? The Peterson brothers, and check that, that's a fact. The Peterson brothers invented one of the cars. And Ford saw their vision. And what, because Ford had more money, they had an assembly line, right? And what they did is they promoted the Peterson brothers. Car. That's how they got started. The Peterson brothers were two black men that invented the car. And Ford saw that they were great and put them on it, said, hey, we got a assembly line. That means that they can make more mass production. And that's how Ford got started. You don't know how you're going to get started. But what you do, you are in the right place. YouTube is one of the best places that you can teach someone and make money. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I've met, I met millionaires. Well, not in person, but on here on YouTube. I want you guys to be millionaires. If you want to be, if you want to be a millionaire, if you want to do, you don't have to be a millionaire. You can just do a little better than what you have. Each one, teach one, each one learn, each one know, right? That everything is possible. When you put your mind to it, you put your mind to it. So you got to talk to yourself. Yes, I talk to myself. Yes, indeed. Because I'm motivating me. I am telling myself, I'm worthy of this second chance that God gave me. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of the second chance that God gave me. I'm worthy of this life. Even though, although I'm in this small kitchen. That I am not really a fan of. No. I'm not a fan of being in this apartment, right? But I'm going to work showing God, hey, God, I know, you know that this is not me. But this is where I'm placed at. Because this is what my budget can afford, right? But I know, I'm out thinking this. I will be a millionaire. And if I don't, I'm going to at least try. That's all you can do is try. When God sees you trying, oh my God. And when you give back, do you know so many things have come in my way from me giving back? Even when I have a little money, I give my knowledge. I give my heart. When I say much love, when I say mega love, I truly believe it. This is what I'm trying to give to you guys. My love, my knowledge. Me, healthy g -mob. I'm creating an LLC. I'm creating a business. Who would have thought I was making a business? That's why you haven't seen me. You see me working on me, creating a business, going to classes, and grooming me. Grooming this body, whether I picked up a little weight or whatever. I'm grooming me. I want you guys to continue to groom you, to work on you, no matter where you came from. Don't matter what you happen to you in your life. Don't matter if people have done you wrong. I've been there. I've had people do me wrong. I've had people. Huh. But I pray 
to God to not let me focus on that negative and let God take care of them while God is taking care of you, right? So that's what we're doing. Tori Brain, yes, good morning. God, I got a minister here in the house, pray for us, praying for me, praying for the world, praying for us. You guys, YouTube is an amazing place. It's amazing. I, I mean, I mean, when I got on here, I met a lady named Peach McIntyre. And she was like, you too can make money on YouTube. I was like, oh, what? And that's how I got on here. Then I took her classes. But she came, became a little bit too expensive for me. I love her to this day. But I couldn't afford her, no longer afford her. But the little bit that I get got from her, I learned that you can do anything. Not worry about your circumstances. She had EBTs, all that stuff. Five, six kids. But she had a mindset to push her forward. To say, you know what? <laughs> all this stuff that I got that's negative in my life, I don't care. I'm going to push through this. Now she go back and forth. Woo! She go back and forth. But it's okay. So I hope you guys like this. My little cheap, inexpensive. We won't say cheap. <laughs> Although it was a dollar ninety nine, right? Let me see if I got some prices here from the Dollar Tree. I got a bunch of these, and this is what I'm going to put on my counter instead of painting. Because I can't smell this, the fumes in this little small house. I don't have a big house to take my stuff outside and spray paint or nothing like that. The fumes, they make me sick, right? So I decided to put, on the back. look at the back of this. This is nothing but a cloth, right? Right? And it got my fruits and vegetables that I love. You know what I mean? Fruits and flowers. So you got, you got watermelon, you got kiwi. Stuff that I love, right? I'm going to put it in my small kitchen on my counter. And I got a bunch of them, right? Bunch of these, right? So, you guys, Healthy G Mom, I hope that you guys have understand that Healthy G Mom today is here. I'm a messenger of God, and I'm showing you guys that I'm going to be working on my watch hours. I'm going to be here for a while. I love that you guys are here, and I know that you got, got your platform to run as well. Pop in every now and then. Hello, Jared, uh, Journey, J-E-A-N-Y, Jenny. Mega love, mega love. So pop in. I'm going to be here. I want to show you guys. I'm showing you guys. I'm organizing my kitchen, my small kitchen. But I'm teaching you guys if... I can't teach you anything. That Healthy G Mom journey is about. I'm gonna start teaching more. I'm gonna start sharing more. I'm gonna try to solve more. That is how you start creating income. Yes, I generate income from YouTube, right? But it's not enough. So I've learned from the big YouTubers how they're making money. How they're making a lot of money. They're solving a problem. They're teaching what you know. Teach what you know. If you know how to do StreamYard, if you know how to do anything that you learn, go back and show it. I guarantee you more people are going to come your way. All of you guys are brilliant. Everybody in this chat, everybody is in this world, I would say. They are smart. But do you know how to apply your smartness? That's the key. What you going to do with, with the gift? We all got gifts because we're all children of God. Okay, those that believe in God, I believe in God because God gave me a second chance. It wasn't no man. Because mm -mm. the man that was in the hospital, they told me to say bye to my loved ones. Mm. So I digress about that. But I know me and my mind had God. God told me not in the words, but showed me that I was worth saving. That I was worth something. Right? 
Yes, Dry Mints too, right? <laughs> They're at the 99 cent store, Bridget. I got this for, or did I get it from the Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree 99 cent store. I shop at both. I don't discriminate. And I shop at Ross. And I shop at Target. And I shop at Walmart. And I shop it all at Amazon. I don't discriminate. If I see a deal, I see a deal. Mm -hmm. But I want to spend a dollar ninety nine. Dollar eh? ninety nine. Yes, indeed. Dollar ninety nine. So when you guys finish checking with me later on today, and you'll see these, I'm gonna have these on my counter, and I'm gonna put some music on. Now, the music I'm playing is YouTube music. <laughs> so it's a little, hello, God's Construction. Mega love. I've been, I'm going to check the beginning part. Might want to check the beginning part. But let me just sing my little song. Because I forgot to say that. I got so happy. I haven't been on YouTube in so long. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome. The healthy G moms. Ah, ah. Welcome around the world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to healthy G moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to healthy G moms. And I love you guys. I much, much love you guys very much. I love myself. I'm out here trying to figure this world out figure YouTube out and figure out things, what's next in my life. You got to think about what you're working on. What's going to be next? Are you going to leave money for your kids? What is your goal? Everybody has a different goal. I Please, don't compete with others, but learn from others. Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference in learning from others not stealing, but just learning and going and teaching others. I stated earlier today about the Peterson brothers. They had a great idea. And then Ford had a better idea that made it better. There's nothing new under the sun. So when you go to somebody's channel to learn, learn. But make sure you give credit where credit is due. And then make sure what you learned better, make it better than what you learned. Don't go in there and mess up what they've already done. If you're messing it up, that's shame on you. But if you go in and make it a fabulous, positive mindset, great things, right? Now let's go out here and win. Let's go out here and do well. Let's go out here and get that money. Mm -hmm. Make the money if that's what you want to do. If you're just having fun, which I'm having fun too. Healthy G Mom, all, I'm very goofy. I'm all about having fun. But I'm also thinking about, I have kids. I have a five-year-old grandson, Nazir. Mm -hmm. I would love for them to enjoy something that I left. Right? So, again, in this small kitchen, you see, I'm going to take these mats. I'm going to put them all around my counters. I'm going to put a microwave. I'm going to put you know, counter, all kind of stuff. I'm going to do, I've taken a lot of stuff out of my cabinets, right? Um, you see all the cabinets open, right? I put stuff, I already see, you see, this is how I live, like with the hooks up there, right? The hooks up here, because I have not much drawer space, right? I don't really have cabinet space. I don't have cabinet space, which is sad, but it is what it is, right? I don't have cabinet space in my in my kitchen. I have little cabinet space, but not enough. So I, I decided to get these little hookies and I got those from Amazon and, and I'm just happy, you know, I'm going to have stuff. So when I get ready to use things, I can just go, look at this. I can just grab stuff, right? Right. I can grab stuff. I can just grab it off the wall. So instead of going searching through things, searching inside a cabinet, but I know I'm going to have a big pantry cabinet one day. I'm going to have a big cabinet full of, that I can go and I can get a whole bunch of stuff, right? That is my goal, right? Um, I got to, I got to mess, I got to do a whole bunch of little stuff. You can see here, little pans. 
get one of you. Okay. Okay, look at that. Okay, and I got all this stuff in here. I got racks. Right? So. Right? So, Healthy G, my hello. Awesome idea. Yes, so. I, I, I shared with you guys earlier. I am not a cleaner. Okay, I am a cleaner. I can do it. It's not something that I'm fond of. It's not something that I, I like to do, right? Mm -mm. But I, I know how to do it because I was forced as a little girl by my mother, who was a southerner, said, girl, you're going to learn to clean this house. You're going to learn to cook. You're going to learn to organize. You're going to learn. <laughs> and she made me learn. And so that's what I do. I do it when I don't even want to do it. You guys do it when even you don't want to do it, right? So, but there's some people that love to do it. I have a sister, she loves cleaning. And she does it well. And she knows how to like, she perfected it. You know, being, I'm like, dang girl, you done with that stuff already? And it's, and I go and I'm like, okay, it ain't clean. And it's clean. Because she ain't thinking about it. She just doing it. Sometimes we got to just do it. If you don't think about it, but you know it needs to be done. Ah, when you know it needs to be done, right? Yes, thank you for the hooks. Mm -hmm. The hooks makes my house all kind of little spaces. They're on Amazon. I saw some in Target. I think it was Target. You Check the store. Check. Okay. All, again, California might have different stores from you guys. But most of these stores, again, they, they copy off each other. It's okay. It's all good. Right? What I'm doing today is I'm going to organize. And I'm letting you guys see this. So I'm going to Tory Brain Games. I appreciate you. God's Construction. I'm Bridget Nay. Blacks Tropicals. Lynn Life Says Lessons. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. I appreciate everyone. Always Tam Tam. Hello, beautiful. Hello. I miss you. Good cooking with Sharissa. Mega love. Mega love. I appreciate you guys. Oh, anybody that I missed. King Morgan, I love you so much. Tori's brain, love you. I love all of you guys. Motivated Murray. Motiv motivated. Nadia stays motivated Murray. N-D-I-A. I think I got it. I hope I got it. I hope I didn't butcher your name. I'm Megan. Love you. I love you guys. First kitchen was very little. Yes, Lynn. Well, my first kitchen was big. My parents had a big kitchen. And then my house that I owned with my husband, we had a big, huge kitchen. And then the house that I bought, I gutted it out and I made a fancy kitchen with, oh my God, I, I spent so much money into that house. But I no longer had that house. Remember, I had to sell that house. And now I'm in the projects in an apartment in a 980 square foot house. Right? But it's okay. We love you too. Thank you so much. Amen. You're a made of motivator. I am. I, you know what? People tell me I'm a motivator. Um, thank you so much. But I want people to win. I want you to win. I want myself to win. So I'm going to be on here working on my watch hours. Come and check on me a little later. I'm going to play some music and let you guys know that I'm here. Um, I appreciate everyone. I love you so much. I'm going to play some music so I can get this party started. What is this? <laughs> okay, that's the music that they gave me. Let me see if I can put some other stuff on here. Okay. Just feeding the duck. They feeding the ducks. <laughs> like you know start paying for the extra live stream music let me see if i can play here we go there we go help g mom do the clean okay i love you guys think about teaching someone think about what problems you're going to solve think about what can you solve on youtube to share with me and the world. All right.
Oi. watch hours. I love you guys. Team Happy, I love you guys. My Filipino family. The Love Empire. Hello, beautiful. What's my beginning? I had a lot to say about how you guys can make money. How you can make money. Hello. Love and live. Oh, okay. That's not love and live. Living life with the Darren.
Organizing, reorganizing my kitchen. Hello, 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 hello. Let's organize. Right. Buckets from the 99 cent store. I gotta set it aside. 
I appreciate you guys, Team Happy, Queen Nunu. I love my Team Happy. You guys don't know who Team Happy is? Happy Gone Gone family? They're my family. They can be your family, too. Thank you, Team Happy. Queen Nunu, I love you. I, I've been waiting on you. I talked today about what we can do. I'm generating it. Stuff you don't need, get rid of. I'm decluttering, decluttering my life. my watch hours. Watch hours. I'm growing my watch hours. Thank you. 
connect with Juba. That's my Jamaican family. Hello, God's child. Juba, mega love. OVG Mama's cooking. Hello, Spiso. Um, Michael Pen. Tell you guys what I'm cleaning with.
Disinfectant, right? Yes. So I have all kinds of disinfectants, right? Right. So this is five times. So that's what my like all kind of little stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying in the sink. Juba. 
I'm a Jamaican family. Remember, I have family all around the world. I have family in Europe, that's Germany, England, all over Europe. I have family in Africa, I have family in the Philippines, Jamaica, Yaman. I love my Rastafarians. I love my Jamaican family. I got family all around the United States. I got family all around the globe. So that's why. And Australia. I got family in Australia. I can't even keep up with the people that I know. And that I give love to. And they give love to me. Hello, Peter P. Dallin. Hello, hello. If you haven't, if you're coming to me, I said a whole bunch of stuff at the beginning of my channel. You love me. And I'm teaching about YouTube. I told people. People that want to make money, if you're interested in making money, you got to think about what can you do, and you're a teacher, teacher, what can you solve, problem solve, people want to do that, that's how you generate income, but as of right now, you taught me cleaning and organizing, Before, as I organize, when I organize, I always clean, and it doesn't matter if I'm in the kitchen, it doesn't matter if I'm in the bathroom. I have to wipe down and de-Germanize. Because remember, dust, if you don't know that or not, dust is baby mice. Baby spiders. You know that? Did you know that dust mice are spiders? I didn't know that. I've learned that. And I always wonder why my mother's like, come back and clean that up. You drop that, clean it up. Now, as an adult and as a mother and a grandmother, I know that you have to dust, you have to wipe, you have to constantly clean. Even when you don't, you don't even look dirty, but if you haven't said anything there for like a week, it's dirty. He's right. my watch hours. Yes, Gmon, I will message you on Instagram. Please do. Hey. Anything I can do to help. Anything I can do to help you. And you and you and you. As long as you are ready to receive, I will teach you. I'll teach you what I know. I am not someone that keeps secrets. I'm not someone that go and tell people things either. I don't like the gossip. So if you share your confidence with me, that's going to stay with me. Unless you say, hey, I want other people to know, learn from me. Like what I'm doing, why I'm on YouTube. I want people to learn from my mistakes. I want people to learn from me. And I want people to grow with me. So learn from me. Don't judge me. But let's grow together. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to grow you, you, and you, and you. But when I learn something, I want to tell you guys. And I learned from a lot of the big YouTubers. I've learned from YouTubers. I'm like, what? They're not even making no money. They not. All these subscribers, they still not making no money because they're not solving a problem. They're not teaching. I digress. So, the goal is, if you want to generate income, have it as a second thing or your main income, you can do it. It's possible. You can make money. You got to solve a problem. You got to teach them. Whatever you're good at, whatever you're not good at, you're not good at real estate. Huh? But I'm going to share with you guys about what I'm learning about real estate. Because real estate makes, create millionaires. And, and that's a fact. Creates millionaires. Real estate. Real estate in any part of the world. If you see a bunch of people building stuff, you think they're not making money? So why can't we have a piece of the pie? You can have a piece of the pie. 
And they, they, there's places that, that I'm learning, you don't even have to have that much money. Because LDG mom don't have that much money. You can use other people's money. But you got to learn how to do that, right? You got to learn how to make other money. Yes. Healthy G Mom Planet Mimi is more one of my members. Planet. Planet. I love you. But I, I hope you heard when I was missing. We gotta learn how to teach someone something. You are very smart. Everyone on here is very smart. What you gonna teach someone? And the, the, the love empire, you're always creating something. It's about connecting the right audience. So if you are teaching, Teaching someone or solving a problem, you make money. You make money. So right now, I'm, I'm not teaching y'all how to. Uh, I'm not teaching you how to clean. I'm just showing you that if you have a small apartment, you can LBG more. You can organize your comfort so it won't feel so small. Right? That's my goal today to show you guys that I'm putting stuff on my walls so I don't have to be digging through drawers. I don't have that many drawers. But I'm, I'm going to, and I shop at the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree, right? Dollar 99, these are going to be my men that I'm going to put all over my countertop. Now, I could have invested in some spray paint, but the spray paint, it makes me sick, right? Like, because it's so small and it's not aired out enough, it will make me sick. I've tried it. And it's just this perfume make me sick. And I, because I'm not in the house, I can't go in the backyard and put stuff in the backyard. Like my beautiful uh, Lynn's Life lesson, when she spray paint herself, she goes outside in the backyard. So there's this air. But if you don't have air, you can get sick off those fumes, those pink fumes. You know that you can get high with pink fumes? I'm not trying to get high That's why they tell you when they paint a house, they have a door in it, all right? But, I don't want to have my doors open. I got my screen door open. That is, you already know. Except the G-Mom with the four floor. Right? So, yes, yes. You guys connect with each other. My healthy G-Mom is cleaning up. I'm cleaning and organizing. In order to organize, we have to clean. Because there's dust. Right, the dust is dust mite, little bitty spiders. Right, so <laughs> yes, you guys connect with each other, love on each other, and think about what you're gonna do for your channel. Tyrone, you are amazing. Teach us how you play your game. I'm sorry, King Morgan. Tyrone, you are such a giver. I mean, when I was start, first starting out after I had met Planet, Peach McIntyre was my sister. But meeting you and your 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 girlfriend or your friend, the lovely class, mother of twins, you guys inspired me because you guys helped me meet you know me. You played, played my chat, right? I play your channel every all the time. When I, when I, I don't have enough gadgets to do help a lot of people but every night i'm always watching people when i watch your stuff i watch it all the way to the end to try to give you credit that's what i just okay? well think about what can you do me, me or others something about when we think it's not a game we think about electric we are amazing in addition to what you're doing on your game we just what you call twins other twins teach us how to learn the computer teach us how to work StreamYard. teach us stream or whatever platform that you're using to promote people want to learn think about that i 
I've only been on YouTube for a year. I still have a lot to learn. I know that. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a year. A year that I've been on YouTube, right? Remember, I celebrated my one year without you guys. I celebrated with my family. I showed you when I was at school. I was out and about. I was celebrating being alive and celebrating my year on YouTube, right? So today, I'm back working on Watch Hours. Watch Hours is live. When you do lives, do long lives and have people come. And I'm trying to share knowledge as I go. And I'm hoping that you are receiving the knowledge that I'm learning. Because I believe in each one, each one. And I believe that we all, there's enough room at the top of everyone. I am not stingy. I love sharing. I want us all to grow. But if you're going to grow, and if you want to generate income, think about what can you do. Think about what can I teach someone and, and others. Trust me, I look at a lot of my videos, my videos that I was teaching when I was showing you guys about YouTube. You know how much money I made on those videos? Well, I got a lot of subscribers. I watch the point videos. Do not, in any kind of way, help with watch out. But dark videos bring more, more subscribers. Now you got them as a subscriber. Now you're going to keep their business. By teaching them something. By sharing them. I'm sharing my world with you. I'm sharing my small kitchen. I am sharing my small kitchen with you guys, with you and you and you, right? Yes, you just you just signed up for StreamYard. Now, teach us StreamYard, Planet. Teach us everything about StreamYard. Teach us how you do your video, Planet. You have a you are an amazing editor. Teach me how you make those fantastic videos. See what I'm saying? People like me. Well, here's the thing. I don't have enough on my phone. This is what I'm on my laptop, right? I am on my laptop. My phone is over here. This phone. This phone is at it's cracked. Well, I got a screen control, but when I'm on here, I'm gonna light myself, right? Let me show you guys this. I'm gonna watch and support myself, right? So right now I have this, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to LPG mod. Like my channel. Look at that. Right? I'm going to click on it. Look at that. Now I got another view. Right? I got a view. Because how do you your phone and my tablet. I got a tablet that was given to me. Right? Not a tablet. This is a laptop. I'm filming. I'm filming from my laptop. Now I'm a monitor here. Wait, look at that. So I can go and read you guys' comments. Okay, you don't know StreamYard yet, but you know how to edit. Teach what you learn as you go, right? I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to give myself a tip. I'm going to give myself a check, right? right? I'm going to send myself something. You got to support you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give myself... Um, I'm going to select one of these. Right? I'm going to give myself a dollar. 
If you're not giving yourself a tip, you see that little tip that you got on there? You should be giving yourself a tip. Granny Mimi, King Mormon. If you are monetized, give yourself a tip. Right? You don't give them that. I didn't know that. I learned that. Trial and error. If you don't support you, nobody else will. I love you. Me. I'm always scared me. Right? Oh, okay. mom just supported herself. Remember, every month, if you want to get paid, if you want to get paid, you have to generate $100. That in it, you just got monetized. You should be giving, you should be having your family give you tips, super chats. You need to get past. And remember, that $1.99 is what? I don't have a $1.99. I have 99 cents because YouTube takes part of it. Why do you have 99 cents? You give yourself a tip. Have your family give you tip. Y'all, it's already night. It's about 89 degrees in here now. Look at it. Tell the G-Mon sweating. <laughs> what? Right? For you. Right? If you don't support you, no one else will. But I, I gave a whole bunch of gems at the beginning of my channel. I gave a whole bunch of gems. Donna Lenard, your music sounds real nice, but I can only get bits of what you're saying. Hold on one second. I'm going to tell you one more time. Okay, hold on. I'm going to tell you one second. Okay, so I apologize. Let me say it one more time. Donna, anybody that want to listen, <clears throat> you are in charge of your destiny. You, if you're not already monetized, but if you're working towards being monetized, you have to invest in you. And I just showed you on my channel. I'm filming from my 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 um my tablet, not tablet. What is this? A laptop. But on my foot on my phone, I gave a tip. That went to me. And remember, it was a dollar ninety nine. Whatever it is that you want to give, or you can give yourself. Because remember, once you get monetized, like Planet Mimi, you have to generate $100, over $100 every month. Every month, you got to generate over $100. Therefore, that money comes back to you in a check form. So when you teach someone something, when you are solving a problem for someone and others, people want to pay you. People want to be around you. People want to soak in your knowledge. I've learned from a lot of big YouTubers. I've learned from YouTubers that doing what I'm doing. 
Whereas we're, I'm a lifestyler. I'm a lifestyler. So I show you guys everything what I'm doing daily, right? Then I also show, show from some lifestylers. They're not only just showing you their life, they're teaching you something. They make more money. They taught, they're teaching stuff about YouTube. They're teaching stuff about how to do curly hair, um, all kind of hair, whatever it is. They're teaching something. Those are the ones that are going to go on to create more income. They got the same amount of viewers. They both got 100,000 viewers. But the 100,000 viewers, for someone that's just out there having fun, they're chatting, they're having the live chats. But you ain't learning nothing from the chats, right? If you're learning something, then okay. But if you're not learning, if you're just gossiping, people are not going to pay for that. People are going to pay for things that they can learn. I need to learn or others want to learn about YouTube. StreamYard. If you know anything about StreamYard, if you know anything about editing, edit how to edit on a phone and how to edit on a tablet, two different things, right? Two different ways for me, right? And then to take it further, you can edit on an iPhone and an Android. That's totally different. People want to learn how to build a business. Right now, I'm creating my business. LLCs, EINs, all that. I didn't know nothing about that. But I was on YouTube learning from others. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Teach someone, help somebody, learn something, and you will get more income. So I took the music down so you can hear that. That is not my goal to be on here today just to, to tell you guys about what to do. I don't want to tell you what to do. It's your channel. You do what you want to do. But for me, this is a business. And if this is a business, I need to know how can I generate income? How can I generate in more income? So if I already generate income, it's not enough. Right? So millionaires, they create multiple streams of income. You know what multiple streams of income mean? Multiple streams, like many different things. I'm making money teaching. I'm making money on my job, I'm making money doing hair on the side. I'm making money writing somebody taxes. I'm making money, whatever. Multiple streams of income build income. And now teach me. Again, I stay Planet Mimi. You are amazing. I, like you are one of the best. I love your videos, your editing. I can't do it because this phone. I can't do everything that you're doing because on my phone is at capacity. I Although I have an iPhone, it's iPhone 8. I need something that has terabytes, right? I have unlimited talk and text. But if, it don't matter if you got unlimited talk and text. If you don't have the storage, and I never knew all this. <clears throat> Someone taught me this. Again, what are you teaching? And I gave them a tip because they taught me. I pay for their service because I'm being taught something. That's all I'm trying. Light bulb. How can you make your channel go to the next level? How can you make your channel go to the next level is by teaching someone something. Solving a problem. Solving my problem. I had no idea why I could not keep doing videos. Every time I do a video, it will stop in the middle of it because my storage was at capacity. I only have 64 bytes. I didn't ever know what the heck is terabytes. Well, not terabytes, GB. What is GB? Is 64 GBs, right? Which is not enough if you're a YouTuber. Not, not the videos I make. I got a bunch of videos. So 64 GBs is not enough. I need terabytes. And I paid extra for my terabytes, but they're going to the cloud. Many times when you stuff going to the cloud, you can't, when they say the cloud, you can retreat us. 
guess what? When stuff going to the cloud, many times you can't receive that. You can't get it back. So they have these new phones now, the 13, iPhone 14, where they have terabytes. You can get something that has capacity. You need, if you are a YouTuber, you need something that has a lot of storage if you're making a lot of videos. Because guess what? More videos you make, the more money you make. Why do I say that? Because you're constantly putting out content. And if you're putting out, okay, so some people don't do a lot of videos, but they're making money, but they got that one powerful video that everybody and their mama and their daughter and sons have learned from. So if you got that video that's went viral, got a million views, I've not made a million views. I've made, I, I think the largest video I have is uh, 11,000 views. I got 11. I think it was one. Yeah, I think I have 11 or 12,000 views, right? That's a lot. There's nothing compared to a million, million views, right? That's what you want, something that's going to go viral. But most of those videos, a lot of those videos are someone teaching. Now, I don't have a problem with anyone doing mud banks. I don't have a problem with anyone doing, because I do them. I do mud banks. I do goofiness. I do all of that. But try to mix it up right? Get your viewers. And the viewers come from the shorts, but the shorts don't do anything with your watch hours, but they bring people there. Once you get the people, teach them. Teach them how to do your editing. Teach them how to be a YouTuber. How to be a YouTuber. How to make money on the internet. How to be an affiliate. I have not seen anyone going to how to be a viewer. I do. I have one person. There. How to be, a, be an affiliate of Amazon. Meaning, you just said you're going to do something with StreamYard. Okay, how to be an affiliate of StreamYard. Whatever. I, I'm just throwing stuff out there. But I'm trying to share with you. In order way to generate income, more income, is to teach someone, somebody, everybody, something. Teach them a, whatever or solve a problem. What problems can you solve? Unless you're a celebrity. I'm a celebrity to myself. <laughs> Health G mom. I sing to myself. I talk to myself and I love myself. But that don't matter. You just create something for, for you. But okay, I take that back. Because when I do create stuff, I teach it for me. I think like that. When I when I go and I am making my videos, I have to like it too. I don't care about everybody else. Okay, I do care about everybody else, but I care about me. Can I see myself like this stupid video, this video right now? I'm showing you guys, I'm in this small kitchen, sweating, right? And I'm showing you guys how I'm going to make this small kitchen an area where I can be able to be easy in, be able to grab things in. You work with what you have. Again, I did a comparison of big YouTubers and, okay, half a million. They both had a half a million. They both had a, excuse me, a half a thousand. 500,000, 500,000, which is a half, right? A million, right? And I saw that one was generating more money than the other. The one that was teaching something. The one that was teaching some, someone something is the one that got the most money. So it's up to you. It's up to you to receive my message. I'm just a messenger. I'm a loving messenger that wants you to win, right? So I said my spiel. I hope you guys are there. I got to put my music back on so I can motivate myself because I am not, I am not a fan of cleaning or organizing. I know how to do it though. I was taught how to organize and clean as a kid, even when I didn't like it. So I know I do a lot of things that I don't like. But I do them. Do some things. Just like I was telling my son. My son's like, Mama, this is nasty. I said, but it's healthy for you. And we do a lot of stuff that we don't like. But we have to do it, right? Right? So I digress, you guys. I, I really want you guys to win. Okay? Be great. Be fantastic. Thank <laughs> you.
journey with Kiki. That's my member.
Thank you. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Thank you. Hit the like button. The like button helps me.
working on my watch hours. That's why I'm going long. Even when you have, even although I'm monetized for a year now, I still have to generate watch hours. Four thousand watch hours every year. Hello, Simply Shelby. Thank you for that super chat. Although monetized, I still have to generate watch hours. See those boxes in the background? That's what is going to come in here. I have a microwave. A new microwave. My microwave got burned down. Burst. So I got a new microwave. I got a air fryer. My kitchen is going to be very nice. What? This is a wire. I invested in this wire rack because I don't have cabinet space. Right? That's my right? Thank you, Timothy Shelby, for that super chat. I appreciate you. I'm working on watch hours. Understand if you guys got something else to do. Love on me and go love on yourself. Love on me. Mary Precious Jones, my member. Simply Shelby is my member. Planet Kiki is my member. I mean, Journey with Planet Mimi. You guys love on each other. What's Gma? He's doing his thing.
that Mobile, Alabama? That's where mom and dad is from. Mobile, Alabama. children of God. We can do anything. I'm showing you that after being in the hospital eight months, I'm still pushing through. Doctor told me something different. I'm pushing through a year on YouTube. Celebrating life.
These are new. I got these from the 99 cent store. I think they were $1.99, $3.99, Look at that. New screen. And then I'm going to put in my this. So I got these from the 99 cent store too. Right? I'm going to put that over here. That's going to go over here, right? All around the counter space. That's going to match. Look at that. Remember, we work with what we have. Yep. Look what I have. I'm putting everything on my refrigerator. These are magnets. Take this out, of course. This is a this is an avocado slicer. Put that in there. From, from our refrigerator. My calendar. Right? My fruit rack. Look at that. Hanging up stuff with my small kitchen. I have to hang up stuff on the refrigerator and the walls. that see all that i got these i just wipe this i just wipe this area down it's me wiping and cleaning as i go oh yes i'm not gonna stop until i get a lot done lbg mom has been traveling
That's helped me tremendously with my channel. Thank you.
but I don't want to. I'm, I'm going to put them up for another time. Oh.
to wash dishes.
my nice little poll from Rachel Ray.
Because of the bacteria, especially this, especially this one. be cleaning all day cleaning all day right And I forgot because I haven't been in my kitchen. I haven't been juicing. I've been buying stuff. So, see 
Like crystallizer. Is it the best water? It's okay, water. I'm going to 
want to drink this, take my ginger shot. It's ginger and lemon. If you want to cheat and not have um, the, you know, the freshest like fruits and vegetables, this is organic. And it's in the stores like Raft's here, Kroger's, I don't know, in your stores. It's organic, it's Viva. And it has ginger and turmeric. It's an immunity boost. Right? It's good for, like, when you are lazy. Like, I'm lazy. I, I have to clean my kitchen. I don't. And I don't use. I don't do anything in a dirty kitchen. I just don't. Because I don't feel it. And not that it's real dirty. It's not organized. Right? So I have to be organized. Like, I can't find stuff in my kitchen. So that's the whole purpose of me clean cleaning and reorganizing. So I'm reorganizing so I can find stuff. So, you know, I organized a long time ago. But over time, you know, the forks are not in the right place, and the spoons are not in the right place. So I have to redo it, right? So thank you. I love nothing of the Clear words are always clear. I know. But as a kid, remember, um, Portuguese and um, anyway, I don't know. My childhood, I grew up with a lot of mouth. And those are the languages I picked up. Salute. <laughs> this is organic. Salute. Here's to a healthier and a wealthier life. Salute. That has cayenne pepper into it. It's ginger and turmeric, right? With black pepper, echinacea root, all organic, right? So if you're lazy, like to me, I don't want to cook the juice, and you want to drink something healthy, Keep your body flowing because I'm already doing healthy stuff. I'm gonna get some water and flush it. GAMO Production. She's all my thunder. Whoever's on here, um, Mom and Glenda, we're bouncing out now. I love you. I love you too, GMA Production. Like I said, my mommy, my GMA Production, the Peter family, they are amazing. She Arizona, it's from the state in Arizona, but she cares so much that she gives with her heart and her time. That's a child of God. Someone that gives, she stole my thunder, she gives with her heart and her time. But she actually loves her heart. So for me, you guys don't know my story, I grew up in the art industry, but more of the television world. For me, art goes hand in hand with television. So I learned about art as a young woman. As a matter of fact, one of my nephews, he was so amazing. He can look at you and draw a picture of you. Where he's doing other stuff. Now he does art on hair. When he does hair, he's a um has his own business, making good money as a barber. And you know, these barbers these days are artists, right? Because they draw like the names and draw things from the hip. But he used to have a kid, I'm talking about at three, four, five, six years old. This kid can look at me, looking crazy with his hair, and draw it. Just fantastic. Artist. So, but that was just my fan. And then my mom was a writer. He wrote music, movie, all kind of stuff. So that's how I got into the entertainment industry. That is my background. Entertainment world, television, movies, art. She told my thunder. I didn't know if you know that, but that is my background. Although I don't know the plant movies like you know that you know, but of course I've been to all kind of museums. I love Picasso and you know, when I was coming up, I was embarrassed. All these rumors were so long, you know, you know, I was art to it, drawing 
and the human body, right? The human body is the skinny part. But if you're like shy like me, I was shy. I was never shy. I'm not a shy person. But I was too shy to show my body. Right? But I wasn't shy to connect to a couple. But I've always liked being behind. See, because I have an eye for art. I love to see things develop. That's the type of person that I am. I can think about something and tell you what I'm looking for and then have you create it. That's an artist behind this thing. So that's where I'm at, a director. I can tell you what to do, right? And so being part of the art world, as a young girl, I thought I was going to be an actor. But when I was four or five years old, I was in this movie and I got cut out of the movie. And I was like, I'll never be an actor. <laughs> Although I've been but I've always liked telling people what to do. But now I don't tell people what to do. I suggest I'm a messenger. And if you receive the message, awesome. And if you don't, okay. At least I try. Right. You drink the water. Yes, drink the water. Mm, the heat body. The heat today would have me put have put me out of the river. Right. Oh my God. It's 90 degrees. Well, let's see what, how, how hot it is right now. So it's not really bad. That would be bad right now. It's only 84 degrees right now. 83, 4 degrees right now. But by the end, but it's now 11 o'clock, LA time. Last night it was 90 at 8 p.m. Right? Yes, indeed, it cools, my it cools me down. And it helps flow. I'm also going to drink another organic. So I did that. That was vitamin C. And this is another. This has vitamin D and zinc. So vitamin D, vitamin C for the the stuff that's going around. These are very good. If you're lazy, but I'm not a lazy person. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm just, when things are inconvenient for me, I work around it. When I improvise, then I go and I'm not, I don't want a lazy bone in my body. And I'm being are my favorite. This is a plum. So I'm into eating like in the morning time. I don't really eat a meal. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't eat meat as a meal. I eat more fruits. I drink my fruit. I drink fruit and vegetables. Right? So, I'm taking a break. Hello, love and live strong. What's up? I'm working on my watch hours today. I've been on here for a while. Organizing this small kitchen. It's not, it's hard. They do 
connect with each other. She thought my thunder is amazing. She's one of my members. But she teaches French and she teaches uh Spanish and then she also teaches what I love is the art world. So as a kid I grew up in the art industry and the entertainment world. I worked in the entertainment industry for 30 years. I was a part of it when I was in the started when I was five years old, but then I started getting paid as a kid to work for and learn TV in the 9th, 10th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade. So I got paid to go to school to be, to learn TV. That's how smart I was. I was very smart. The shame on me, I ran off and got married. I got
is a proof. show I should I should live with that there's a lot of study that's showing that that has C things that have C agreement. There's no official agreement, but there's many that consider them. travel a lot. I've learned different cultures. I've been to Europe. I've been to Canada. I've been to, you know, out of the country. I've been all around America and I've been outside of the country as well. Now, I haven't traveled to Canada as much. Not as many as, as Europe, but I have visited there before. A long time ago, uh, Quebec, 
of Windsor, Windsor, Canada. Windsor, I used to go there a lot because I have family in Detroit, and that's right across the border, right? And what was the, the uh, Wayne, Wayne Gretzky? Wayne Gretzky is a Canadian uh, hockey player. So I met him when I used to work for a TV station. KTLA, I got a chance to meet him, I got a chance to fly. Where that is, Wayne Gretzky, wherever he used to be at over in Canada, I do what part of that was. So I've gone to that part of Canada. So I, I've been to Canada maybe like five times. So I'm not a professional. No, by, by no means, you know. Uh, but the parts of Europe I've gone to is. Uh, England, I've gone to uh, Germany, I've been to uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. That was a that was an eye opener country for me, state for me. But so traveling and learning other cultures is an educational journey. I will say that. It, it's, it's, it's amazing. Is there, is there a way you can turn the music on? Okay, you're right. Okay. Um, so, around the world, there's always things that you do. One second. Sorry, but okay. Uh, Love and Live, are you still there? So I have music on simply because I do not. Okay, I won't say I do not. I'm not a fan of cleaning up nor organizing i however i learned to clean up and organize by my parents my mother my father at a young age i was forced to so just because i don't like it i know how to do it but what makes me do it is music and so the goal today was just to allow you guys to organize like allow you guys to see me organize this small kitchen but i had to clean and because i like to talk a lot because i couldn't walk or talk 
for eight months. Remember when I was hospitalized? Now I like to do it. I like to talk. So I w I started teaching at the or sharing information at the beginning of my channel, beginning of the video. So I but I put the music up so it can motivate me. But I kept talking. So I apologize. Keep forgetting that the music is really loud. So I apologize. Love and live. Yes, the music helps me get. Now, this is not the type of music that I would listen to if I was really, truly cleaning. I mean, I get I love. I, I love all kind of music, but I like music that like bump. This is YouTube music. And because I'm not into I've never had copyrights. I don't do that. So I'm obeying the YouTube world. And because I don't have the money to go and pay for the other music, you know, it, there's a lot of people that do have music on their videos, but guess what? They're paying every month, every month to play that. I spend money on other things. I'm doing real estate. I'm learning real estate right now. I got other stuff that's going to generate assets to me and invest in my business. So I'm investing in my business and I'm investing in me. And sooner or later, maybe I will pay money for an editing. Like I don't have an editor. I was just given this 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 actual uh, laptop. Thank God. That's what took me so long to really do a live because the laptop I had died on me. And then my desktop, I don't have a camera, but I love my desktop, but it doesn't have a camera. So I have issues with editing. I have issues with, with a lot of stuff, but I'm a real living proof to show you that I work around work what I have. Right. So love and live show. I apologize why I started with the music because that's what motivates me. The YouTube music that they gave me because I want to show you guys I was organizing cleaning, but I was sharing. We were just talking about the tomatoes and fruits and vegetables that every culture, every country have their own rules and regulations and what they clarify, what they determine certain things are, right? I've been to Europe. I've been to Canada. I've been, I've traveled, I've traveled my whole life and working for a treat TV station for 20 years. I traveled a lot out of the country and I've learned different cultures, how they do different things. And I love it. It's Jamaica. I've, I've never been to the Philippines. I wish I would been to the Philippines. But that too will come sooner, one day, right? And there's a lot of places I haven't been, but most majority of stuff I've been to a lot of a lot of places. Okay, but but what um, she saw my thunder, and I was talking about, I was talking about fruitarians, and I was talking about a tomato here in, and there's still people that some people that disagree, and I had disagreed, but studies show that a tomato is considered a fruit there's not one study there's not two studies there's many studies that shows that fruits anything that have a seed in them is considered a fruit and a tomato is considered a fruit they don't taste like a fruit to me although they're yummy and they're good but people consider that a fruit and then she stole my thunder is from Canada. She's Canadian and they don't consider that. Well, she said Europeans, Europe, the Europe world don't consider fruit. I mean, tomato as a fruit are things that have a seed in it. So there you go with what I'm saying about different cultures teach things differently. And that's why it's great to be like how, how amazing YouTube is like I'm able to connect with these wonderful people that's teaching me instead of me having to always travel. So I'm traveling on the internet, on the Wi Fi, on the world web. I'm traveling and learning with amazing people like yourself and eating and listening with you all. <laughs> yes, thank you. I know, I know, I know exactly. Eli used free software. He could probably help you. Yeah, so 
I know people that have used free software, and guess what? They still get strikes against them. They have gotten used free softwares, and then you have to go and write and say and or do certain things. You know, and and for YouTube, sometimes they don't get right back to you. I don't need all that headache. So for me, if I'm going to use them, I'd rather go ahead and pay for it. But right now, I don't have the money for it, so I don't pay for the music. Right? So I'm okay with the music that they give me. Like on my shorts, I've been jamming on my shorts. If y'all see my shorts, I pick any music. My music is jamming, but you got to know when you play in a short, you got to, it's 15 minutes, 15, 15, excuse me, 15 or 16 seconds. Then they can't copyright you. So it's all about knowing what to work with. If you, I made some videos last night. I was rocking and rolling. Yeah, I'm a rock star. But I did the 16 seconds, right? So I use that music, but that's on YouTube. Well, actually, I wasn't on YouTube. I go and I see if I can play it. And they allow you to play it. So, yeah. But on for longer videos like this, I've been on here for four hours. If I played those music that I played on my shorts, I would have strike, strike, strike. When you go into the restaurants, when you go to Disneyland, when you go to all kinds of places, when they have music, you get copyrights. And I... I've been on YouTube for a whole year and I'm monetized and I've never had a copyright. I don't do all that. I don't need to be, I don't need the headaches. So thank you for with the Eli because Eli had mentioned that he would help me too, but I do know people that have used music that's supposed to be free and they still get copyright. I have no people that got their channel taken down. Mm hmm. They get three strikes against them. That's it. And then you two don't even get back to them. I know somebody and I won't say their name. I know somebody had to start their channel all over again. This is a business for me. So this is YouTube. And either you adhere to their rules and regulations or you don't. This is another stream of income. Now, is this my own going to be my only? No. Because I'm learning, I'm in school to do real estate. I am not going to be a real estate agent. I'm going to be a real estate investor. That's what I'm learning. But this is going to get me, this is, I got multiple streams of incomes that I'm working on. I'm working on me too. My health, because remember I was in the hospital eight months. So I'm talking a lot about what I'm planning to do for myself and my channel is going to actually reflect more of me sooner and later, soon and very soon of teaching more, trying to solve problems. Cause that's what I shared at the beginning of my video. I shared that I know people that have the same amount of viewers. They have like, say for instance, they got 500,000 subscribers or a thousand. We'll say, we'll say, um, we'll say, 100,000 subscribers. They both have 100,000 subscribers. But one is about just chatting with people, doing pranks. They're doing, which is funny, but the other one had more about teaching, right? And guess what? The person that had more about teaching is getting paid more. Because people want to learn. Now, people, they do give you little tips in here and there for your pranks. Um, what is his name? Um, Mr. What is the guy name? He is he is doing really well. But he actually gives people money. He's giving money. He's giving cars away. Mr. Burger Guy? I think, forget it. I've seen shorts get copyright claims, particularly so many Disney they don't mean, yeah, right. So, but the shorts, if you do 15 seconds, I've managed to stay under the radar and my music is from the music that's on the radio, right? 
I because I'm learning you can't you can't do more than 15 16 seconds for a short for music now if you're talking and telling somebody something you know encouraging them I think there's six that they've given me up to 30 seconds I think I did 30 seconds I can do that but I still just all my shorts I just keep it simple I just do 16 seconds I am Bridget yes I am I mostly have to wait a bit since I can't edit until they um, finish processing the videos before I can edit. Right. All right. Well, my editing, guess on my phone, what I have to do is I have to delete, not delete, I have to, uh, on my Facebook, I have to take off my Facebook and my Instagram because I have no storage on my phone. So even when I'm trying to upload a video, I have to take away Facebook, any large um, apps. Right. I'm Bridget. Thank you much. Appreciate it. We'll return the favor. See, that's what I want. I want you guys to love each other. You guys are amazing. Don't forget about I am Love and Live. Love and Live is on here too. She stole my thunder. I needed the motivation from Healthy G Mom today. I love you. That is my daughter. She stole my thunder. I am Bridget Nay is my internet daughter. I love her. Her and Crafty Leo, those are my two daughters. They are amazing mothers, wives, and people, women that are powerful and is going somewhere. They have so much to give, right? We all have a lot to give, but no one knows us, right? So we have to learn to play if we want to learn, if we want people to know us, this is what I'm learning from my big YouTubers that have million dollars. I'm connected. Remember, I help the G mom. I say I learn people. I know people all around the world. I connect with everyone because I lead with respect. And what I'm learning from them is you got to come up with something. This is what they told me. If I want to generate income and I want to keep my channel relevant and keep growing, I have to start teaching more. And I have to come up with solve a problem. When you're solving a problem, you're creating something. This is from millionaires, people that's making money. And they also make money on other things. <clears throat> this is why I'm learning real estate. In addition to YouTube, because YouTube is going to help me promote my real estate world. Thinking. I'm thinking about it. I got to have it connecting. So things that can help you, Bridgette, things that can help you, She Stole My Thunder, things that can help you love and live, utilize YouTube as your, you're going to be a partner with them. Think about what you can show and what you can't, right? Think about their rules and regulations. They got a lot of rules, but guess what? They want you to really win, but if they don't know you, they're not going to put you in the algorithm. Thank God they put me in the algorithm. I'm in the algorithm. A lot of people know Healthy g -Mon, But I didn't know when I first started because I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing half of the time. But I'm learning every day. Because that's my goal is to learn to be better. Learn to work what I have and learn to receive messages from others. So coming up soon, <clears throat> my channel is going to be more like I'm still do lifestyle. I, I'm always going to be lifestyle because I want you guys to see that I'm just like you. I'm like you, you, and you. I'm just you, an ordinary woman that want to be loved and want to be better. Right? But I also want to grow and leave things for my kids. To give things to them is responsible just because i'm a divorced woman doesn't mean that i'm nobody i'm somebody i could still been in a marriage and who cares for me i know some people that stay in marriages and their marriages really heartbreaking for me but that's their choice for me i can do bad by myself I can love on me for myself. Now, if God 
bring me another lover, a, a husband, that's great. But I've been dating since the sixth grade. My ex-husband, I knew him from the ninth grade. In the 12th grade, he was, you know what I mean? Making babies. So this is the time for me to focus on me. Because I've always had boyfriends. I've always had somebody else. I come from a big family. It's eight of us. I have five sisters and three brothers. I have a lot of people. But I've never, ever just had time to focus on me. This is my time to focus on me. And then I still have a lot of people around me. I did a video yesterday about when you alone, you're still not alone. I mean, if you're spiritual like me, if you're a spiritual person and believe in God, you're never alone. Although there's nobody here, it's still God. It's me and God. And God has put in the power in me to be great, to do things, to reinvent myself. Reinvent yourself. Keep working on you. Learn, if you're going to be on YouTube, learn the rules and regulations. Just because everybody else is doing music on their channel, and their lives, and some people got more money than me. I'm not competing with everybody. Some people, they do some fancy, look, my, one of my members planted me, me, oh my God. When I tell you, her editing is off the chain. She's amazing. I can't do it because I don't have all the resources. I don't have all the gadgets, but I know I will because I worked in the entertainment industry. People try to tell me about editing. I know how to edit. There's matching pictures and swiping. And I worked in the entertainment industry as a director. Don't you think I know how to edit? Don't you think I know about edit, uh, audio? I know about decibels. Did you know that audio in, in television form is considered decibels? Video is 100 IRE. I can tell you some technology, some technical terms. I can tell you about satellites. I worked with satellites. I'm very, very smart. But right now, God, are the things that I used to have and be connected to, I don't have. So I have to work with what I have. I don't have the fi all the finances that I need and I want and I desire. So right now I'm trying to create a life so I can get what I need and what I desire. Right? I've already prayed for it. I've already manifested, put it in the universe. But I have faith enough. I got to do the walk now. And that's going to classes, master classes. That's going to channels that you're learning from. And that's helping others because I believe that we can all grow with each other, right? Planet Mimi intro is very, yes. And she, <laughs> she off the chain, uh, right? So me, I had to sing at my being because that's why I started singing because I knew everybody around me was doing, getting copyrighted. I'm like, I'm not going to do all that. I can't sing, but I'm going to sing. So I gave you me, and that was my authentic self. Self-love is the best love. You're right. Lynn's life lesson is my member too. I am Bridgetette. Connect with Cynthia. Living with MS. You guys, please connect with her. She's amazing. Everybody on here is amazing. I think all child, God's children, we're all amazing. As long as you are leading with respect, and you're respecting your temple and respecting yourself. You are amazing. You can do anything that you put your mind to. But you have to listen. And you and when people are trying to teach you something, and if it seems right, receive the message. Like I said, I was comparing. I've been on YouTube comparing women like... Why the heck do they not making that much money? But this person is making money. And I found out because they're teaching more. I went back and looked at a lot of my other videos on my, what do they call that? You know, on our algorithms and in our inside our channel. 
and I'm learning uh, like a lot of my videos that have me more teaching about YouTube made more revenue. Right. <laughs> and my videos are not that high. I think I have a video that has like 11,000 subscribers. I'm um, excuse me, 11,000 views. That's a lot to me. But I'm trying to get more than that, right? Yes. So, Cynthia, thank you. Yes, yes. Cynthia, I am Bridgetette Nay. Lynn's life lesson. Um, She stole my thunder. Is my member. All of you guys, you beautiful ladies. Lynn's life lessons. MS. Cynthia living with MS. Love and live. You guys connect with each other. You guys love on each other. Okay, so I plan on getting off of here at five at, at five because I've been on it five hours, right? So I want to show I'm gonna continue back to my um my music. Do you guys have any questions? God got you because you are a blessing to it. I want to be a blessing to everyone, I'm a blessing to myself, right? But am I perfect? No, thank you so much, Lynn, for saying that. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to be better than I was. And I don't dwell on what I used to have, but I let people know what I used to know and what I used to have. So that's just like, hey, yeah, I used to be, I made a video about I used to be someone. I'm still someone. I just don't have those stuff anymore. So I'm like my sister said, stop saying you not nobody no more, right? I guess because. The materialistic person. I was a materialistic person. I love my Mercedes Benz. I love my big house. I love my Gucci. I love, you know what I mean? I used to wear all the diamonds. My fingers used to be full with diamonds and gold. And I only got one, one diamond. You know what I mean? But I used to have a lot of minks. I had that life, but I, I smile because I can say I've done it. And like I told you, traveling is not cheap. I used to travel. I've been on private planes, private jets. That was my life. But God has gave me another life to humble me. I am humbled. Thank you, God, because God gave me a second chance. He's let me know. God has let me know, like, that's material stuff. That's material stuff. You will get it back, but you have to know that that's material stuff and it don't make you. Material stuff in those mink coats that you wore and that Gucci, Versace. It's material. But I want the material stuff back. But this time around, I'm going to respect my stuff. I'm going to respect me and I'm going to know I'm not idolizing this. What I do is I idolize my health because health is wealth. Did you know that? For me, this time around, I know being healthy with your mind because I, I have to tell myself every day, every day, thank you, God, for waking me up. Thank you, God, for helping give me the strength to come and push through. Thank you. You know what I mean? Health is wealth. If you are not eating right, your body's going to crash. If you're putting bad stuff into your body a lot, your body's going to crash. So put good stuff into your body. Put good stuff into your mind. If you are not thinking right, you're going to have a mental breakdown. I hated my ex-husband. I hated him. I hated him. I hated him. I hated some other people that have got money from me and chose not to pay me back. I hated a lot of people. But guess what? I had to let that go. Now I know that those people just weren't worthy of my friendship. They were not worthy of me. Although me and my ex-husband, we're cool now. We're cool. We... You know, he prayed for me. I prayed for him. I prayed for my ex-husband, but he is not the man for me. But he is amazing. 
He's a good, he's a good father to my son. That's one thing God gave me a good, he good to my son. And he ain't good to me, you know. Because we grew up, you know, I mean, here's the thing. When you sometime growing up as kids, because we were kids, how we were in ninth grade, 14, 15, right? Some people last, like my brother, him and his wife, they still doing well. They known each other for a long time. But for me, I outgrew him. And he has an amazing wife that loved my child. So again, I'm on a positive mindset. You can't continue to hate because hate is going to destroy you. It destroyed me. I had to let all the negative thinking, what he did to me and what I had to let that go. You got to let things go, the stuff that people do to you. Because sometimes, because I was like, I'm going to revenge him. He wasn't thinking about me. <laughs> so what you do is focus on you. Focus on bettering you. The mind, the body, and the soul. I'm a spiritual person. I'm more spiritual than religious. I've studied all different types of religions. And no disrespect to any religions. I've studied all. I have a relationship with God. The creator. I, whatever name I call the creator. God is what I was taught, right? But to me, there's a force. A being that is more powerful than any man anything because they saved me that force saved me that force changed my mindset you got to change your mindset if you have a mindset of i'm gonna get even with these people or i'm gonna do this and that guess what you spend a lot of time wasting on somebody that ain't even thinking about you Focus on number one. You are number one. You are amazing. Let God take care of them. Right. Every morning, Cynthia, do you thank God? You thank God for giving you another day. You thank God for teaching you how to take care of your body. I have to tell God, thank you. And what I'm showing and what I'm going to do, I want to be able to help, continue to help my sir, self, and I want to continue to help others. So, you guys, you are dropping some beautiful gems, yes. I'm only telling you what I learned, trial and error. Trial and error. We learn as we go. If you are married, love on that person and allow that person to love you. But that person better respect you and that person should be supporting you. When I say support, I ain't talking about just money. I'm talking about supporting in the mind. Like, girl, you go and do that. You, I got you. Support a marriage is a team. If it's just one person running everything, it's not even about marriage, a relationship. Me and my teenager, oh my God. My teenager get on my nerves. But he's a different generation for me. So I have to learn how to connect with him on his level. He think he know everything. But I remember when I was a teenager, I thought I knew everything too. And I remember having conversations with my mother. You don't know all that. But I was, too. when I was a teenager, I was off the chain. I was making so much money. I was a teenager, I was making money. 
At a teenager, I knew so many people. Like now, I know a lot of people. I've always known a lot of people. Hello, information media. Peace and love. Yes. You came on me. I'm right now. You have to watch the beginning. I was trying to let them know that I've been on here for a year. And I haven't, I didn't celebrate with you guys, but you saw me celebrate my year anniversary. But I've learned from all the big people. I've watched people that have million subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. And I saw the ones that was teaching and coming up with a problem, solving a problem. And I saw the ones that was just playing around and having fun, which is okay to have fun. But guess what? The one that was teaching and the one that was solving a problem made more money. I'm a lifestyler, so I'm going to always play around. I'm going to always do mud banks. I'm always be in my garden. I'm going to always do it. But for me, for part two of my, my second part, second year, though I haven't, it won't be two years until next year around this time. My goal is to teach more. Because I looked at all of my videos, a lot of my videos that I'm teaching and showing you guys YouTube, I made more revenue. Right? If you guys don't know who Information Media is, Information Man or Info Media Live, he's amazing. He will teach you as well. I think we all have to teach each other and show each other. Because no one is God. No one here is God. No one is awesome. I mean, everyone's awesome. But everyone has something to teach. Have one, some, everyone has something to give. And long as we respect each other, it's a happy union. I still have a lot to learn. No one really sat me down and said, hey, this is what you do here, didn't it? I've learned by trial and error. Era. I grew my channel going to live streams. I mean, going to... um grow houses i grew my channel by doing shorts but i know shorts don't work on your watch hours but shorts bring more people your way but what you're gonna do with those people that come your way you gotta teach them you gotta show them something first i show them me i show them how goofy i am me in the curly hair cleaning my kitchen then i also try to show you hey this is what you can do to keep your channel growing this is you're right so you got to be able to do shorts lives you know Everything goes hand in hand. Trust me. My short people's like, oh, you don't do shorts. Shorts has helped me. But I don't just focus just on shorts. I'm doing more lives. Now, what I'm guilty of is I don't do enough live, but I'm going to do more lives. Because right now, currently, I'm working on my watch hours. So I've been on here almost five hours today. Because when I was like, oh, my God, I need to catch start doing my watch hours. But I've been having fun. So for my year anniversary, I decided to get out of the house and go travel with my family. So if you see me going to the pool, you see me going to Vegas, which I've always go to Vegas, but I hadn't gone in like three years. My family hooked it up for me to go to Palm Springs and all that. All of my family's not here on YouTube. It's eight of us. Same mother, same father. They're behind the scenes making sure, hey, you need to do this. You should go here, you know that, right? But I wouldn't do that because everything that was going on in the world and I had to work on building myself with short hair. You know, I used to have long hair. But again, like I said, the mink coats and the Mercedes Benz and all that stuff is just material stuff. Health is what I'm working on, health is wealth. So I'm learning this new look. I'm in the curly stage. This is the middle stage of my hair. My hair is the curly stage. From I was bald headed, but I was short, long hair to bald head to now my hair is growing back. That's just another thing. That's another part of me. I don't, I care about what I look like, but right now you get what you get. But my heart is more pure than anything. And I want you guys to win. And how you will win is teaching or solving a problem. So I said how to, if you notice my title, how to organize a small kitchen. The how-tos. YouTube is one of the largest, excuse me, the second largest search engine. Google, who owns them, 
they're married together with another company. They are the largest search engine. If you want to get into the algorithm, and if you want YouTube to take you serious, and if you want to make money, because think of this, millionaires have multiple streams of income. I've been running into a lot of millionaires, mm -hmm. multi-millionaires. And guess what? First real estate, because I'm taking a real estate class. I'm, I'm going to be teaching that soon. Millionaires, most millionaires are into real estate. But guess what? They use these social media platforms to get their message out there. And YouTube is one of the best, the best platforms, I'm telling you. All across Facebook, all those are, I'm not going to put them down because they serve their own purpose. But YouTube is one of the best platforms that can help you generate income and give your, get your message out there. That's it. That's all. And that's a fact. So I suggest you guys start watching others, Infomedia, man, everyone, watch other channels. And look at them at the beginning, how they started, and look where they're at. That is what I'm working on. Bettering me and knowing it's time to change. I'm going to keep giving what I'm giving, but I'm going to put, I'm getting ready to put another spin on what I'm learning each time. And don't worry about copying someone. When you go to someone channel, yeah, learn from them. OK, because remember, I stated when the Peterson brothers, they made their car and Ford looked at them and said, I got a way to help you get your car out there more. They took that idea of them making the car and they did the assembly line. So when you go to somebody's channel and they're doing an amazing job, go back and do something better than what they did. There's no new things under the sun, right? So when you go to somebody's channel, learn what they're teaching. And now put your spin on it and make it better. People want to learn. People want to, most people that's coming to YouTube, they're trying to learn something. Teach them how to be millionaires. Teach them how to grow. Teach them how to do DIYs. Keep on teaching yourself. I told you I'm taking a class. I'm taking a business class. I'm creating an LLC. So I'm not just sitting here talking about it, you guys. When you guys don't see me, I'm working on me. When I say I'm working on me, I'm educating. I'm a scholar. UCLA, I'm a Bruin, although I didn't finish. But I'm a brewing mindset. My, I'm a scholar. Right? That's how I think of myself. But I'm straight from the hood. South Central all the way. I've never forget where I'm from. I'm always going to come and reach and try to help someone. But if they don't want to go, okay, I love you. Bye. Deuces. Right? So that's enough of lecturing. That's enough of sharing. I want all you guys, amazing people that's on this channel and people that's not on this channel. I want you guys to continue to grow and continue to think about how can I better serve myself? How can I better grow my channel and make more money and make money? Watching and learning is called observational study. Learn from others. That's what it is. And I believe in you. I believe in me. I believe in you. Right? Do what you got to do to keep getting better. All of my members, I'm always, and if I haven't said it lately, I'm always saying you are amazing. Keep working on you. Keep growing you. Give multiple things. If it don't work this way, try another way. Watch from others. Learn from others. You can, 
you can be anything. I feel like I'm mo- I am a mother, so I tell it to my son all the time. You can be anything you put your mind to. You have the faith and you have the manifestation. Manifest your life. I will be a millionaire. Remember, I told you where I'm at in a small apartment. I used to have a Mercedes Benz. I used to have a house. I'm going to get it again. But this time, I'm going to keep it because I'm going to do the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. I'm not going to just quit, right? I'm going to learn it, perfect it, and do it all over again and keep growing. And this time, I'm going to surround myself around positive mindset people. I got to surround myself around positive mindset people. People that want to grow somewhere, right? I'm surrounding myself. I'm trying to surround myself and bring my around millionaires because I want to be a millionaire. They say there's five millionaires. You hang around five millionaires that I make six millionaires with you. If you're hanging around all negative people, four negative people, you'll be that negative person. So pray for the negative people and move forward to the positive people and grow and grow and grow and grow and then come back and teach the ones that want to be taught sometimes people don't know that they want to be taught but if you keep talking a light bulb come on like what i saw her when she wasn't doing nothing and look at her now i want to do that what does she do well i'll tell you if you listen right but i'm not gonna stop growing because you don't want to grow i'm gonna say god bless you and keep it pushing You know, healthy G mamas, I'm on this positive path, you guys. And I'm in my kitchen, my small kitchen. And I'll show you what I've done so far because it's all about my, it's all about me growing, showing you guys where I'm at now. This is a small kitchen, what I've done so far. And yes, okay, I found you. I love you. Yes, you guys connect with each other. This is what I'm talking about, right? So let me show you what I did so far. Okay, so you guys already know, in a small kitchen, like, let me give you a point of view. So look, okay, hold on. So you see all the little stuff, boxes here. So it is really small, right? And I have stuff hanging up with hooks, right? Those that are new here that are had, didn't see this, I have stuff hanging on my um, <coughs> my cabinets. And I got jars inside here, right? I got plastic containers up that way, right? This is a plastic container. This is just stuff that I put like my son's, my oatmeal and seeds and, right? Slide it in with a handle. See that handle? So it's easy for me to take it out, right? So I have some more stuff like that I'm gonna put in. But on, on the outside, I have handles. These are hooks, if you can see that, that's a hook. Right? That's a hook. That's hooked up that way. Right? There's a hooks. Right? Right? And then on my refrigerator. So this is a magnet. So, because I always have a problem with finding scissors. Now, look at that. It goes, hear that? It just attached. Right? my avocado stuff so i got two scissors i got more of many scissors right and then i have a calendar this is just a little calendar that that i can write down what i need to right it's all magnet this is the magnet keeping up right i'm from my family's from mobile alabama i'm a southern girl although i live in california my family's from southern from alabama right so as southern girls we learn how to work with what we got right Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. Okay, so these are my hooks. I cleaned off this wall, so it's actually clean now. And I cleaned it. If you if you have to see the beginning of the video, I have so many cleaning supplies because you no know, dust. But these are little hooks. This is a small hook. Okay, but I have bigger hooks, like the ones that I showed you. Okay, these will be more hooks over here. So this is a um, because I didn't have <coughs> enough room in my kitchen. I I did this. So these are my bowls, all this, these are my uh, Rachel Ray bowls, right? That will go up here, right? 
right now they were soaking in they're soaking in soap right so you can see that this is one of the soaps that i use it's just a spray see right that's all i did is did that right okay and if you can notice over here this is what i how my kitchen is going to be looking so i put down these are my new mats soaking mats for my little okay here we go can you see that okay these are more little areas to put my like cups or little chainers look at that and above that you can see here these are more little things this is how i hang up right see how it's hanging right these are bigger hooks right here see that that's a bigger hook right so yeah and then i got this little thing from target this is a a, a stand that i have it's a it, it has levels all kind of levels one two three four. it's a shelf that i got from target now they have some more expensive ones right words are powerful you're right okay it's it's a little bit more um sturdy so it's called serger sterilite now i have some other ones that was given to me but i use those for my plant but i wanted in here so i got my uh, i'm gonna change this around this is all the little stuff i'm trying to get to right now this has my uh this is my um my dicer right all this little stuff here all down i got it all that stuff is going to be it's going to be organized and so what you see me doing if you see that right here is trying to it's going to be so organized and stuff that i don't need anymore i'm gonna give it away or throw it in the trash right hello my team happy and mega love to you right um I, I, my juicer is gonna go back over here i have this is um I, I have an air oven right here you see that that is an air oven so that will go over here where i when i finish okay but i'm gonna put more of these right this is just a it's just a countertop so i mean i could have sprayed paint but paint makes me sick just the smell of it right so i don't want any spray paint in here right i'm just wipe the cam counters down and put these mats in it because remember my goal is to have a house i'm gonna be a homeowner again right so i am working with what i have right and so while i am here what i'm gonna do is just see that kitchen that kitchen that sign right there that kitchen is showing you that in this kitchen i'm gonna make it a little smaller a little bit more um and i did it when i first started it was so organized but i've gotten a whole bunch of other stuff <laughs> thank you so much mary precious um i had so i've, I've created and accumulated so many other things so i not only have an air fryer so that's my juicer. Now you guys see me juice with. This is my blender. This is my Vitamix, right? And all this stuff. So um, I have air fryer and I have a new microwave. But that's all down. That's over here. So I have a new microwave, right? Healthy G Mom is showing you guys. Sometimes you might not be in the place that you want to be you might not be where you want to be but you can put in your mind where you want to go but while you're putting in your mind where you want to go you got to take care of the things where you're at so i'm just trying to create more because i you know I, I want to be out of here already but i what i've been doing is trying to save the money that i do have because I'm going to buy a house. But before I buy my house, I'm going to have to help others. That's what God wants us to do. We have to help others. When I say helping others, Mary Precious Jones, no, I've talked to her. I'm doing real estate class. 
not because of her, but God has connected her to my world. Mary Precious Jones Huntsville is amazing. She's in Alabama, right? I'm in California. We can do business together. But right now, my parents took us out of Alabama. That's a whole nother story. My parents came to California for their life. They wanted us to be to grow up here in California. And we did. My brother, one of my brothers is a lawyer. One of my brothers, a deputy lawyer. I, look, I, my family, we're doing well. I used to work at a TV station. But when I had to downsize, and I'm, not longer, I'm no longer doing that. I can't keep focusing on that part of my life. But what I'm focusing on right now, currently, I'm divorced. I don't have a home anymore. I used to have a big home. I'm in an apartment. Now, no disrespect for people that grow up in apartments and like apartments. Apartment world is not for me. It's not. Okay. I like having a backyard where I can go out and tend to my garden. I got a garden on a patio. It's okay. I'm working with what I have. I'm showing God that I'm worthy to do bigger and better things. That's what you got to think. When you think about the place that you won't, don't want to be and things that you don't, you drive in this bucket, a car that you do, you know, I'm driving a car. I don't really know the name of the type of car, but it was given to me. My brother and my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law and my sister it was like, girl, you need to be taking no bus with all this stuff that you got going on. But I really don't drive for that much. Because, you know, people are crazy out there, but this is a whole nother story. So my teenagers learning how to drive. And then, you know, I have family members that come over. Anyways, I digress. But I, what I, the point I'm trying to make, you got to set your mind up for like, even when you don't like where you are at, the money where you're at, the level, the job that you do, you have currently. When you don't like that, you start working on getting ready to get out of that situation. And how you do that is start planning, planning, planning. And for me, I'm going to school. That's the best thing for me. I've always been a scholar. I've always been a learner. Although I had the, you know, what I had, it kind of took away a lot of my my thoughts, but it's coming back slowly and surely. So now when I learn, I have to go over it a couple of times before I understand it. I used to be a quick study. I used to, you say something, I can like, oh, okay. Now I'm like, wait a minute, what did you say? Okay. Now I have to go over and over again, but it's okay. I'm working what I got, right? I want you guys to work with what you have. Work what God has given you. And then perfect that and then be better. You can do it. If healthy G mom is showing you, if I'm showing you, I was in a hospital. I was in a hospital for eight months. Have you ever been in a hospital? One month, two months? Oh my God. I digress. Stand by. Sorry about that, guys. I digress. Probably about that. Woo! Healthy G-Mom. 
Healthy G-Mom got a lot of things that's going on in her life. I am so thankful and grateful for you guys. Hang on. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful is good to accept what we have. Right. You can accept what you have right then and there. But if you don't like what you have, you don't have to just stay there. Work on getting out of there. I don't want to say accept. I don't want to say accept. I want to say you work with what you have right then and there. Right? Mercy. Beautiful host. You're right. But so here's the thing. So, so if you just say, okay, God gave me this apartment. This is all I'm going to have. And you think that's okay. And you're not going to try to get out of there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not built like that. Now, if you're okay with being in an apartment forever, are you okay? They're not having, what did you say? The things that you have, if you okay with that, then God bless you. I Listen, everybody has a different life. For me, I hate saying that I'm, I have a hustler mentality, but because I grew up in South Central, I have a hustler mentality. I wanna say that to you guys. And when I say hustler, I'm used to hustling. I'm used to getting things and making it work. Although that I have this dis-ease that's in my body, I still think that I can change my situation. My parents, let me just show you a fun fact. Neither one of my parents had a college degree. They came to California and they were homeowners. You see what I'm saying? They didn't have an education. My dad dropped out when he was like in ninth grade. So if they was like, oh, it's okay to just not, you're going to just work the fields or you're going to just, you're not going to be a homeowner. Just go and pay. My dad was like, nope. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to give my kids a better life. So I got to try. Although I had it before. I did have it. I had it with my ex-husband. I had a home with my ex-husband and I had a house by myself. And I worked at a TV station by myself. People from South Central don't work at TV stations. People, I don't know that many people, people of color that's working in a TV station. No, I'm not the normal person. You're not the normal average person that just say, it is just okay. So I want you to marry mercy. I want you to think bigger. You got to think bigger. Your channel, mercy, you are amazing. Mercy, you're in France, right? Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Ça va bien à toi. Hello, and how are you? I'm fine in you. Here's the thing. I want you to know that I'm grateful and thankful for what this little small apartment that I'm in. But this is not just me. I'm going to keep on striving to be better. Until God say, or to society say, that's it. That's all. You can't do no more. But I'm going to always try to do better than what I have. I'm going to be thankful for what I have. But I'm also, that's right. I got a hustler mentality. Not saying I went out and sold drugs. I didn't do that. But people that just, hustler mentality means that, okay, next, let me go try to do this. This don't work. Now let me try this. Now let me try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to keep doing this. Yes, hustler, indeed. I don't expect to be a multimillionaire. I don't expect to be a multimillionaire, but that doesn't mean I don't have to accept poverty. I'm in the middle of a changing jobs. My ex boss was like money. My, okay. So remember, she stole my thunder. I want you to know when you tell yourself, that you're not going to be a millionaire. 
when you tell yourself things that you're not, guess what? You're not. You got to tell yourself you will. And even if you don't, at least you can try. Remember, listen, the universe listened to us. I don't know if I believe, for me, believe, I'm, again, I'm a spiritual person, and I believe we can ask for what we want and do what we want by saying it. I'm telling my body I'm going to be healed. I'm telling every day I will be healed. I will be a millionaire. I will be. And at the same time, I'm telling myself I'm going to keep on doing things that's going to push me towards. So she stole her my thunder i want you to change your mindset please please beautiful you have a lot to offer you can be a millionaire but you got to say you can you got to keep learning that art world that you're into creates a lot of millionaires and you're teaching stuff about people that used to didn't have nothing and became millionaires a lot of those people didn't have nothing they just loved the art world they loved it and then they became millionaires the job that you don't like, okay, keep working that. But at the same time, be looking for something better. Building this YouTube platform. Building this YouTube platform can connect you with all kinds of things. You never know who's going to come your way. But don't say what you're not going to be. Don't say that I had put, you said, it's different from making, okay, I had to put him in his place. Yes. Okay. I've been there, done that with my supervisor. That's why I don't want to work for anyone because my supervisor, I made more money than my supervisor. My supervisor was jealous of me because I would help the older people. And then I did my job and he's like, don't be helping them. I'm like, shut up. If I want to help them. I help them. I've always been a teacher. I've always helped. I've always did my own thing. I would quickly do my job and then I would go to do their job. She stole my thunder. You are so smart. You can have your own business. Entrepreneurship is the best way to be. It's one of the great ways. Okay. Let me, it might not be for everyone else. For me, I'm trying to do entrepreneur. Working on YouTube is entrepreneurship, but you can collaborate with YouTube. But utilize this as a vehicle to get you to the next phase of your life. YouTube is a, something that's going to get you and connect you with the next phase of your life. Think about that. A vehicle that's taking you to the next phase of your life. But you got to start thinking about, this is what I'm doing. Let me see if I can send this to other people. Let me see if I can do other things. Right? Collaboration with certain people that you can learn from. People that you're learning from. Now, a lot of us work at companies that don't respect us or that don't like us or they're just not on the same level as we are. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But at the same time at night or on your weekends, work on trying to get away from that. Okay? Don't be like me. I just walked off the set. I just walked away from something I truly loved. But that's a whole nother story. It's okay. I never, yeah. Right now you are on a platform that can connect you with a lot of different things and a lot of different people. It's up to you to search. It's up to you to connect. She stole my thunder. Please connect with information media. Info media was just on here. Connect with him. He's teaching us how to grow our channel. He's amazing. A lot of people on here are amazing. Sagittarius Jet. Hello, beautiful. Hello, hello, hello. So, you guys, I've been on here for five hours. Um, I want to continue knocking out this kitchen, right? I want you guys to know before I leave, King Morgan is still, I love you. It's so many people. If you guys didn't learn anything, go back and watch the beginning. I'm on here sharing how I'm going to work with this kitchen. But at the same time, I'm sharing with you guys that you can do anything she stole my thunder. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't tell yourself you can't. Don't tell yourself you will not. 
If you tell yourself you will not, and you tell yourself you can't, you're telling the universe, you can't do it. You're not worthy of it, but you are worthy of so much more. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please, I beg of you. Tell yourself, I will figure it out. Tell yourself, I will do better. I will get a better job. I'm going to work on this. Okay? Say positive things to yourself. You're talking to someone that was, they told me to start saying bye to my loved ones. You're talking to healthy g mom. Glenda, they told me to say bye, that you're not here. Had I listened to them, you wouldn't even know Health G Ma. I had a sister that told me, start saying this and that. So I started saying affirmations to myself. Remember, I couldn't even walk and talk, though. I had to think what I was saying. Or either if I could talk, I would talk myself and they had to give me a pill to. I had to take panic pills or I don't take none of that now. But I'm trying to show you if I can do it. I know that's cliche. It's cliche. A lot of people say this. If I can do it, you can do it. But it's true. If I can do it, you can do it. You are amazing. You guys are amazing. You can do. Trust me. I'm speaking from the heart. If I just listened to someone that doubted me and tell me everything that was wrong about me, I wouldn't be nowhere. People laughed at me before I started this YouTube channel. One of my own sons was saying, Mama, you need to go get a real job. <laughs> ha! I laugh at him back now. So... You got to focus on, dig, dig deep, talk to yourself, say, hey, self, what can I do to be better? What can I do to teach others? What can I do? It's going to come to you. It's going to come to you in some kind of form. That's right. So true. Right. Because we don't really know exactly. I can tell you all kind of stuff that I want to do, but when I'm doing it, I figure it out as I go. Like, oh, dang, this is what, this is where God guide me. I never thought that I was going to get back into real estate because I was so embarrassed when I had to sell my house. I was so embarrassed when I had to sell my house and sell my Mercedes truck. But now I got joy because I know that I'm going to have another car, a nice car. I know I'm going to have another house. I know I'm going to have a home. I know this. And I'm telling myself. And if I don't, at least I'm going to try. I'm not going to put words in my mouth to say I cannot. You don't do that either. So I love you guys. It's true. You just have to believe. You got to believe to achieve. You have to believe. And everything works itself out. Everything will work itself out. I'm going to go back and do my kitchen. And I got a gremlin that's hungry, right? So we got to go and get something to eat. And then we're going to finish up in here. But I, I just want you guys to know that I believe in you. You have to believe in you. I believe in me. And remember, you're not alone. If you believe in God, you should know you're not alone. And if you don't believe in God, do you believe in the creator? Do you believe in the heavens and earth? Do you believe in what do you believe in? Do you believe in you? Whatever you believe in, think positive. Push through. Learn something. Today, when you leave from here today, go and learn something new. I'm going to be studying real estate. Yes, you have to put your time into it. Mary, I got a lot of questions, but I've been doing the schooling thing first before I come and bombard you with more about 
where we talked about the real estate world. I'm creating my my life, my um, LLC. I would never thought I was going to have a business. I got an LLC that I'm working on now. Right? People was telling me I wasn't going to do it. So listen, you can do anything you want to. You can do anything, anything. I want you guys to go out and be fabulous. Continue to work on you. Continue to love on you. Continue to love on the people that love you. Continue to learn from others. And if those are negative people, get those negative people away from you. And even if they're family members, just love them from afar. Okay, love you, deuces. I have a teenager that is negative, but he's positive too. So I know he's a work in progress. I can't just give him up, but I can teach him. And you know, when I talk, I have to learn that I can't just scream at him. Because I want to scream at him and... But I say, you know what? Okay, if that's what you think. But let me tell you this. Won't you think it like this? Right? It's, he's on a different generation. They had to be talked to in different type of ways. But I still had to show him, hey, look at me. I'm leading by example. This is what I'm going to be doing. Right? This is what I'm trying to do. So mega love to you guys. Mega, mega, mega love. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ah, Welcome around the world and welcome to my world. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. I love you guys. I am here for you guys if you need. But remember, I'm trying to work on me. I'm working on me. And I would love for you guys to work on you. Always get up every day. King Morgan, I would love for you to start teaching everything about the internet. Things about YouTube, things you've been on here long enough, you can do it. You can do it. Teach others. That will bring more people your way. That will grow your channel. Continue to grow our fan. Yeah, we can do it. You guys connect with each other and love on each other and love yourself. Always love yourself. Okay? Mega love, mega love, mega love.